Hi, Potato. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hi, Mag. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you guys are doing well today. I'm sorry that chat is not on screen, but uh, we'll figure it out. VOD Watchers literally in shambles. Also, I don't think the Halloween emotes are there anymore, right? Yeah, I did disable them. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Shit, don't sad. It's not Halloween anymore. Come on, dude. There you go today. Today's the fourth. I'm posting on IG that we're live. <laughs> Sadly, yeah. I mean, once December starts, then I'll enable the Christmas emotes. Clueless. <laughs> I don't know why, but Clueless is so funny to me. I can't. Yeah, I agree. I don't know if these are like remixed versions of the Mario Kart songs, but they go crazy with headsets. I just realized the sleeves on my jacket don't roll up all the way. My arms are too big. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, welcome in everybody. Hope you, everybody's doing well today. Thank you, Potato and Mac, for chatting in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys, I appreciate you both. Um, we're gonna be starting two paintings today, because like we learned last week, with the Spider-Man painting, you have to wait ample time for the paint to dry before you put varnish on top. So I think what we're gonna do today, instead of doing one full, we'll start two paintings. So we'll do these two. I think this one goes crazy. I really like this design in black and white, but I kind of want to do it in rainbow, because, you know, gauge. Um, so what I'm going to do is, of course, this one we will need, like, compasses and rulers, which I do have today. But the plan is I'm going to do um, this piece, the rainbow one, just like the card. But then for this black and white one, instead of doing black and white, I'll do the design in colors. And then the background black, that way I can cover over the details at the end. So, for this black piece, we're going to do rainbow and then let that dry for a few days, and then this piece will do all the rainbow, and then when we come back next week, we'll paint over everything. First with varnish, let that set for a few minutes, and then do black paint. Hi Pride, welcome in first time chatter, Hey yo! 
Chatter, chatter. Can we get some peace? I to yos for pride. First time chat. Welcome in. I'm not a sub to my own channel. Wait, no, I am. <laughs> I forgot. I use my prime on my own channel. Welcome in, Prime. Okay, so, um, I posted on Twitter, OBS is like shitting itself, like it still works, but for some reason, as you can see, there's no chat. Mod check chat. Um, VOD watchers in shambles. So, none of my browser sources are working. If anybody streams themselves, you know how you can add like pictures, images, browser source. There's no option to add a goddamn browser source. So, um, no alerts, no chat on screen, but I did find a workaround. I <laughs> I just have to screen I have to screen cap my mod view. So y'all best fucking behave, cause now VOD watchers will see deleted messages, okay? Okay, y'all better <laughs> be on your best behavior today. Um wait, okay, I need to change the crop. Let's see. Because it's not getting the most recent chat message. Okay, wait. Hold, hold, chatters, hold. Chatters, hold. I, I'm, we're doing some last minute... Okay, I think that crop is good. Wait, well, no, it's weird, it's weird. I don't wanna... I wish I could crop, maybe? No, because if I crop here, you won't see the whole message. Okay, chatters keep holding. I don't want, because like, we need the chat for the VOD and the YouTube frogs. Okay, I think that's the best crop we're gonna get. Buy me lunch, we're gonna talk about that in a second. Sometimes we say things, like, see, like, look, look. I can, ooh, I can ban. <laughs> So, so now you guys can see if I have to ban somebody. <laughs> okay, um, awkward. Wait, hold, I have to change this. You guys can't see my computer screen. I mean, you can see it, but it and ain't good like shit. Okay, so, slightly different overlay today, unfortunately. Hopefully, browser sources will be fixed. Oh, shit. Let me check the... Okay. So... As you can see, well, why the fuck is the zoom bugging out? Well, he's like jittering. That's weird. Well, it's weird. It's like jittering. Well, okay, hold, guys. I promise, I'm a pro streamer. Okay, anyway, so we're trying something new. It is still hashtag free to follow. So if you're new, follow the channel. It's hashtag free to follow. But since we don't have, um, what you call it, um, subs or bits yet, because we're not affiliate, let's farm donations. So if we get $50, you guys can buy me lunch. The reason why it's $50 is because donations, most every donation service takes about 10%, meaning if we get $50, I get 40 and then I have to get it delivered. So even if the meal costs 20 with all the service fees, delivery fee, it'd be about 40 So, and those are long-term goals, so... Um, if we don't hit it today, I don't give a fuck, but if we get, like, $5 after 10 days, or $5 every day for 10 streams, then it'd be a total of 50, so. There we go. We're gonna farm. Oh my god, this is crazy! <laughs> All you need to do is follow for free. <laughs> Buy McDonald's. If we had our donation goal, Mac, you know the rules. Wait, now you can't see my mouse. You can just see the bottom of my hand. That's weird. I hate this. Well, okay, I'm crossing my fingers. OBS fixes itself. Cause like, I was troubleshooting, I tried everything, but for- it has to be a glitch. It literally has to be a glitch. Cause like, it, the- the source is just not there. Um. But I joined their support discord and it was way too overwhelming. And I didn't want to like type in the chat and be like, hey, I have a problem. I mean, I know I have problems, but I don't want to share. <laughs> so. Okay, Chaz, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna, which one should I do first? I think... Because, like, my focus kind of deteriorates over time, I've noticed. So I think I want to do this more complicated one at the start. So for this one, there's two, four, six. Six colors of the rainbow, obviously. So I think for this design, we'll do this part rainbow, right? So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. 
No indigo. We don't like eyes here. But then maybe this part... Maybe I keep white. So what we need, need to do to this... What we need to do to this design is to divide this canvas into six, right? And then measure out and go from there. I also have a compass. That way I can get perfect circles, because, um... I have three of these stencils, but the biggest circle I have for this one is a two and a quarter. And that's not big enough, so... Okay, let's go ahead and start our timer. Chatters, if you're new here, follow the channel, and if you're a regular chatter, feel free to chat like when it makes you happy, but emote spam is encouraged, because emote spam makes it feel like I have lots of people here. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get our timer going. Okay, timer has begun. Run started. See, look, the sleeves on my coat can only go up so far. It's kind of DUM. <clears throat> okay. Move what I don't need over here. No, it's not put on the keyboard. That's kind of silly. Also, I'm, I'm sorry for the delay. The other reason why it's delayed because I had to do some final edits for the best of comp. Because I forgot that I had to make a shortened version for, like, Twitter and Instagram. Because Instagram only allows... Um, a minute 30 for reels. Dude, I got scammed. This canvas is not 16 inches. It's 15. It's missing a millimeter. I got scammed. What the fuck? Guys, today's been a bad day. Today's been a really bad day. And it's fucking pouring. And look, it's crooked. Sorry. Okay. Hmm. Okay, what's 16 divided by 6? Let's do the math. Oof. <laughs> okay, 16 divided by 6 is 2 and 2 thirds. 2 and 2 thirds. 2 and 2 thirds. 2 and 2 thirds. So right here is two. Wait, let's just, hmm. Okay, maybe I should do two and a half. Okay, two and a half times six is fifteen. Okay, I, I need to sketch this out. I need to sketch it out. Okay. So the way I'm kind of trying to visualize it is, you know how you want to leave a space in between each circle? So basically, if each one of these is 2.5, then we need to divide 1 inch by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sections. Or maybe I should do... I mean, but you don't want to leave a millimeter between each one. How much space should I put? Okay, let me get my stencil again so I can kind of visualize. So this is our biggest. So one, two, wait right here, three, four, five. Wait, this is two and a quarter. Maybe they're actually going to be this size. Let's see. 2.25 times 6 is 13.5. Let's turn on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we don't want to leak. I mean, this is my new fun. I don't get any messages on this one anyway. Okay, so just to kind of reiterate it, the way I'm trying to figure out how to measure is if, for example, we do do the circles two and a quarter, so 2.25 times six. Um, shut up, Mac. I'm broke. You fucking know that. <laughs> so 13.5, meaning we'll have 2.5 inches of, like, this free room in between. So 2.5 divided by seven...
is 0.35. Maybe I round that down, put a quarter inch between each one. Wait, I kind of want to get some paper. Like, you know the long sheets of paper? Okay, let me get some loose leaf paper. That way I can kind of get the closet up first. Okay, I'm gonna rip out two pages from my sketchbook, don't worry. Yep. We've stalled for five minutes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's not work on top of the canvas. That's probably not a good idea. I'm gonna measure out 16 inches so I get the same length. See, you guys are getting some lovely insight into my creative process, okay? Okay, right here is 16. <laughs> 16 inches, dude, that'd be crazy. Okay, so if I did... A quarter inch. Do a line across. See, like, I want to make sure everything is right when we're working big. Because, like, the sketch cards, they're throwaways, so they're fine if they're off by, like, a millimeter. But for this, I want to make sure it's perfect. <clears throat> Oh wait, maybe I should- I can just go across like this. Instead of using the actual circle stencil. Okay, so this is a quarter. This is two and a quarter. And then... Damn, a quarter inch is not big. So... There's not going to be a lot of space in between, huh? It's one, two, and a quarter. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, damn! Okay. So, I'm just sketching out the basic shape right now, right? We're gonna sloppily draw in these circles, that way we can kind of visualize it a bit better. Okay. So, the length from here to here is 16. And these are two and a quarter circles with a quarter inch in between so right here at the end we have about three quarters of an inch leeway so if we have a quarter at the bottom three quarters at the top that means we'll need a half an inch from the top to bottom of the canvas okay so actually this circle is perfect then I did it like I was scrambling to find the last stencil <clears throat> turns out I don't need it that's actually great okay so now that I have that sketched out, we have like our proper measurements done. We need to mark the center vertically and then horizontally. That way, because I know this canvas, as we discovered earlier, is like 
a half of a, an eighth of an inch off. I think the lesson we learned today is always work outside of your canvas before you start working on it or using like big paper or nice paper. Chatters, are you learning something today? Type one. <laughs> okay, so this is a 12 by 16, so it should be 12. Okay, so I know I said earlier we're gonna do the outside circles rainbow and then the inner ones white. I'm still gonna paint over the white. Because I don't wanna do straight varnish on canvas for this one. Because obviously, because the canvas is textured, when you put paint on top of it, it makes it slightly more smoother. So instead of just going varnish on top of the blank canvas, we're gonna do white paint tomorrow or today. So it's fine if the pencil lines. So, because like basically, I'm drawing a guideline right here and here. So it's fine if the pencil goes through it. Oh wait, Shatter, Shatter, I was going to talk to you guys today. I know for the main channel, we do follower calligraphy. Let me actually get that journal out. Meaning, anybody who follows the channel gets their name written. So do you guys want to do something like that on this channel as well? I was thinking, since this channel is obviously smaller, and just starting out, maybe, instead of doing simple brush calligraphy, if we get any live follows, we can do, like, actual, like, super fancy quill and ink calligraphy for people's names. Oh, I did that way too dark. It's fine. It's fine. I think that would go crazy. Or maybe we could do it every other week that sounds cool yeah because like you know the super like like the curly calligraphy with like the loops <laughs> i think that'd be fun yeah so chatters if you're watching and you're new and you're following fucking follow or i'll get really mad okay wait actually hmm how much like distance do I want from the edge of the canvas? If, okay. Oh yeah, remember it was like. Wait, I need to do the math again. So I'm just double checking my math. So if the circles are 2.25 times 6, 13.5 plus. Oh, right here. Plus. 5 times 0.25, because those were the little gaps in between. 14.25 minus 16. 1.25 from the top and bottom. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. Okay, so 1.25 divided by 2, meaning we'll need 0.625 from the top and bottom. Okay, since this canvas is not exactly 16... I need to add... Wait, cause... Okay, I need to count how many dashes are in here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 16th. So 1.18 is the actual distance divided by 2. 
0.6. Okay, so 0.6 of an inch. 0.6 of an inch from the top and bottom. Okay, let's just do half an inch. Let's just do half an inch. It's not gonna be perfect, and that's okay. Okay, now we can measure. So I need two and a half inch or two and a quarter inches. And then a quarter. Okay, they're off a little bit. Y'all can't tell. But this right here was supposed to measure perfectly to the end. But it didn't. Oh, because I took off... I rounded down from 0.6 to 0.5. Okay, it's fine. I'll just have to divide it. <sighs> it's okay, that's why I'm working in pencil. Okay, so I have to start it from... Point six. That apparently matters. Right about there. See, you guys don't know the struggle. Y'all don't even know. Okay, right here is perfect. I did it. <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but I did it. Okay. Now everything is perfectly centered for this canvas. Everything looks a-okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna do horizontal lines. Because for this design, see how it has circles? And then it has these kind of like shrinking crescent shapes. Hooray! Yeah, finally. Only fuck, 17 minutes. End me, dude. End me. This is why, like, I like geometric work, but shit like this where you gotta, like, be precise with your measurements and stuff, it's super tedious. But I promise, it's gonna look right. Get this song. This, this one's DMCA, DMCA. Okay, saved. For some reason, that one always gets claimed on YouTube. It's kind of annoying. I think I talked about it last week, but some guy has like a false copyright on it. So even though it's like game music, they still claim it, even though it's not theirs. It's kind of DM. You guys can't tell, but what I'm trying to do is, because see other circles in the ruler, the reason why they have holes in this type of ruler is so you can line up your lines. See here, there's like a horizontal and then a vertical line, and so you can get like a cross section. That way, it's kind of like when you have a clear ruler too, you can see the lines underneath. Oh, this is from Bowser's Fury, I think, right? 
No, but the song that I keep skipping is from Odyssey. It's the Wooded Kingdom. And then since there's all these tiny holes poked out, you can look through and see that the lines match up. Is it bad that I'm glad my mom is giving me all her art shit? But then isn't it also kind of sad how she just doesn't want to do art anymore? <laughs> I think that's kind of- I'm getting nail polish on the canvas. Okay, that's really bad. No, that's sad. I mean, she hasn't done art in a while. I think it's because she's not good at drawing. She's more of like a collager. But I think in order for someone to be good at like mixed media or collage, you have to have really good design sense because um, it's all dependent on like how you place things, the colors you use. Like, I think collage is like the easiest thing. Like when you think of collage, you think of scrapbooking, all that jazz. But in order to make it look good, you still have to work with intent. I know a lot of people, I feel like we talk about this anytime we talk about abstract art, but a lot of people shit on modern art and they're like, oh, why would someone who buy this? Like, you know, the one sculptor who makes like metal sculptures that are made to look like giant blown up animals. I went to, because it was a traveling exhibit they had at the, I, uh, this was years ago, years ago, um, they had at our local art exhibit. So I got to see it in person, and a lot of people were like, Oh, I don't get why this is so popular, but art is all about the craftsmanship and, like, the effort it takes to make said piece. So, just because it seems like a simple idea, it's all about the execution and the actual, like, time it took to make it, the supplies. Because, like, building a metal structure of any kind is difficult. And I remember seeing it in person, it had this really cool metallic effect that you couldn't really see in the picture. Or that wasn't emulated as well in a picture. Kind of like how the other paintings, or the, what I kind of want to implement into any painting I have, like kind of like mica powder chrome effect. Like you can't really see it as well in a picture as you can IRL. Oh shit, that line is so goddamn crooked. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, there we go. Now we have all our guidelines, guidelines down. Okay. So, let's see. Does it look crooked? Okay, this line on top is still goddamn freaking. Hold. I think that that's better. There we go, much better. Okay. So now that we have all the guidelines down, wow. Now, I need to figure out how I want the shape to look. Because if you look at the original, because look, if you look at this, the size of the gap in between the circles, it's about nearly a third of the circle. When in this version, the circle is 2.25 and then a quarter. So the gap in between the circles is going to be 
about a, about a ninth. So the shape is going to be different for like this cone part right here. Okay, how much border do I want to put on the edge? Maybe the same size, that way I get a, like a nice border. So 0.6 distance from the end. Just drawing these guidelines will take a while. There we go. I just got up for the first time in three hours and my eyes hurt. my legs hurt. I feel that, dude. That's why, like, I would stream for longer, but, like, three, four hours is, like, my max. Because, like, I think anybody being dormant or not moving for that long is not good. Okay, that line is crooked. That's better. Okay, so now I have all my guidelines down. I'm just gonna look at it from a distance. Okay, it looks pretty good. I have a mirror on the opposite side of my room so I can see. Everything looks pretty lined up, okay. Just like my fade. <laughs> okay. Lamo. So let's draw in these circles. And see how they actually fit. Oh, I should draw like a line dividing. Okay, no, no, so I can draw in the circle first. Because what's nice about this stencil is similar to the ruler, it has, like, the lines dividing, so you can see, like, where exactly the center is. Okay, I measured this perfectly, actually. Somehow. Now, when you're working with stencils, see how I'm, like rotating my I rotate it like this around especially when you're working with pen the angle in which you hold it can sh change the shape um it's a good way of explaining it because like if I go like this around then it might make a smaller circle than if I like, rotate my utensil that way like the tip gets like to the outermost part of the stencil like if I were using like a larger felt tip brush and if I like went like this versus like this then it the circle made like this with the point with my pencil being held straight would be smaller the tip <laughs> Lamau.
So, even though I'm drawing like perfect circles now, once the color paint dries, I'm gonna have to redraw over it. Because, like, if I do paint outside the lines, I'm gonna have to redraw the shape when we go over with like the black details. So, it's not a problem if my initial liner isn't like picture perfect. How do I donate? Exclamation, donate in chat. Why are you Pepe lying? Mac is being very mean. Are you trolling? <laughs> Why is that one so crooked? I think I fucked up this line. It's also hard because I'm working on an, an angled table. So it's hard. I can't sub for free with Prime! No! Welcome in, Titans. But you can still chat! I think I made this line crooked. My depth perception is so fucked! Why does the donate thing break when I go to link my Twitch? Um, I don't know. I know the donations are through PayPal, so you have to link your PayPal account to it. I've never tried to donate by linking my Twitch. That is weird. I messed up my line somewhere because this one isn't working. Hmm. I don't know. Tells you to link your Twitch or YouTube? Huh, that is weird. Okay, let me try it. Let me try it. Man, I have so many goddamn chat rules, holy. <laughs> oh my god, first time chat for Peace in 17, holy. People, hey, Peace in 17.
Let's set them up to me. Oh, that's weird. It does say you must be logged in to proceed. wild huh you can't even log in from their website fuck guys i guess i'm not getting lunch today <laughs> okay that is weird let me let me see if i can change the settings on that Is saying no. Screw stream elements. Oh, wait, 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 hold. <laughs> hold. Oh, stream elements is down. Fuck me, dude. It's fine. Well, I guess no lunch for Megan. It, yeah, I tried to log in through desktop and it didn't work because I logged out and tried to re-log back in, but... Damn. Sag. It's fine, it's fine. Let's not dwell on it. I'll just wait. Me too, I guess. Damn. I think everything just hates me today. Okay. Let's see how I want to do this now. So if you look at the original design, I think I need to do a line. Wait, where's my sketch? I need to do like, let's see, this is the thing. So we're going to do a diagonal line connecting the edge of the circles. And then right here is the center. Then we'll draw shapes like this. That way it kind of makes like an implied cone shape like we did here. Okay. To get a shorter ruler. Why oh, should divide the circles in half? Where's my stencil? Over here. This is why you should not be an architect. <laughs> it's just too much. Back when I was like in elementary, I wanted to be an architect because like the idea of making buildings seems so cool. But it's not necessarily all design, it's so much goddamn math. And if you screw up your math, people could die. And that's not good. It's really bad. Oh, this side is really crooked. This is why I'm not an architect, because I still fucked up my lines. Oh, 
Oh, that one was just crooked. Okay, never mind. We good, we Gucci. <laughs> I was just overthinking it. We're good, we're tight. Guys, I spent 40 minutes drawing guidelines. I mean, collector's still in shambles. <laughs> Okay, so right now, I'm drawing a diagonal line from the center point of opposite circles. That way we actually get the center. That one's crooked. <laughs> I lined up at the wrong intersection, right here. That way we get a perfect cone shape. I'm glad you guys can kind of see the pencil on camera, because if not, that'd be very bad. I think I want to save up for another DSLR. Oh, then I told you guys like a few weeks ago that Sony's releasing like a vlogger camera that is compatible with USB. You don't necessarily need a capture card. Oh, a thing, a suggestion someone made to me is using for this camera, the shitty one. Is instead of using USB, I should try and use a capture card to see if the quality increases. So, long term spending goals. I need to set aside like 500 for a new camera and then another 200 for a second capture card. Because the one I use for this one, it's buggy. That's why sometimes in the main channel stream, either the camera will freeze or the gameplay will cut out. It's because the capture card is buggy. Because only one of them does that. I see so many, like, art videos. Uh, like TikTok, IG. And obviously, it's just spliced together moments of them making it, and then like the final or like sped up versions. I think people don't realize how many hours go into any piece people make. Like condensing it to like a minute even? It's crazy. Like, it's like cliche for like artists to be fun of like how much they charge for their work. But it's like, the consumer is paying for the actual time it took to make it gathering supplies the years of experience the person have it's kind of like how you pay your plumber a lot because they're trained to be a plumber it's like that the art fest galoomis art fest okay so we have the base guidelines down so now we have to make this center part so it's a circle with another diamond i think instead of doing I'm looking at it, the card on camera. Maybe instead of doing a solid, we can do more of these like half circle shapes. But I think the solid fills in a lot of space. Oh no, if we're gonna fill in the background with black. So there's only five. I think I will fill in with white. I kind of like the solid fill. I, I think I'll stick with the solid fill. Because I think if I did crescents inside, it would be like too similar to the shapes here. And it'd get muddy. Muddy meaning there's not a lot of like shapes defining themselves from each other. Okay, so now I need to find what size circle I want to put here. I definitely don't want to make it the same size as that. I want it to be slightly smaller. So maybe a 2 inch. Let's see what 2 inches looks like. 
There's no two inch circle on this stencil. There's two and a quarter and then one and three quarter. What year was this made? These are old ass stencils. My mom got this like 20 years ago. I can't find stencils like this that are this high quality because like it's it's thick plastic. It's not flimsy. Okay, let's see what... Okay, if I went one and five eighths, one and a half is too small. One and three quarters? Yeah, I think one and three quarters is a good size. Because that way, right here, I have about a third of an inch distance from, like, the center of the intersecting cones. Or maybe I should do hearts. Me and this stencil are the same age we grew up together. Maybe. Maybe I should do hearts. Okay. Or would hearts be too tacky? The title today is totally not tacky though. Like if I made it a heart? Nah. I think it'd be a bit too on the nose. Cause I don't want this to be like a pride piece. Because, uh, I I've explained this before, but, like, I think, um, products that are, like, obviously made to be performative are not okay. Like, how Target had the fucking queer pride line. Fucking cringe as shit. So it's like, I don't want it to be, like, too on the nose. I want it to just be, like, coincidence that the color palette is rainbow. I don't think I'll do hearts. I think... Hearts is too on the nose. Also, stream would have started at like 11, but my mom literally talked to me for an hour this morning complaining about her coworkers. It was so annoying. <laughs> and the whole time she's complaining is just basically proving that she's like so apathetic. <laughs> she's like, I don't get why this person complains all the time. And I'm just like, maybe they just want you to validate what they're feeling. And she's like, well, I don't want to. She's like, I don't care what they care about. It's like, whoa. Oh, wow, dude. <laughs> but Jesus Christ. Yeah, oof was a big oof. For chatters who don't know, my mom isn't the best, and that's fine. I think the thing is, if you don't get along with somebody, you can still be like cordial and civil. You don't gotta be mean. Okay, so. Hmm. I want to figure out where I want the point of the shape to end. Maybe I can have it end where, like, the, the ends of the circles are, like, right here. Yeah, I'll do that. That way you get, like, some more. Because alignment is really important for these types of designs. Makes it look a lot more cohesive. And not like you, like, haphazardly place things. Okay, I'm only gonna do the lines here. That way I know where to draw the point. Oh yeah, because if we look at the original design, the points end where the first, like, crescent moon shape starts. 
I think having the points end where the circle starts to where it'll be like maybe a quarter inch further than it would be would make it look like it's disappearing. I think that'd look cool. <laughs> okay. Dude, this looks crazy. The liner looks crazy. It looks kind of cool like this though, honestly. I know I said I wanted to start two paintings, but I don't know how far we'll get today. Because so I thought I could get this done in like 30 minutes. But I didn't realize how much like alignment was going to be needed for this piece specifically. I think what I've learned is just doubled my estimated time for projects. I mean like I have all day today, like that's not a problem. Oh my god, guys, I was watching NMP stream earlier and he read out my chat message. I was like, oh my god. Because <laughs> he was talking about, um, and if anybody knows NMP LOL, um, friend of Soto Poppin, but I think I like NMP a lot. Because, like, they stream in the morning for me, so, like, right when I wake up, they're live, so, like, they're kind of like my background noise for the morning. But he usually does, like, basically just chatting for an hour before they do, like, their planned segment of the day. So, like, he'll, like, sit down and actually re-chat. And it's so funny. Because I realized he probably stops his chat and scrolls and read every goddamn message for that morning section. Because he read out my message, like, five minutes after I typed it. Um, because he was talking about how he enjoys watching small streamers. Obviously on an alt account. But, like, I'm just thinking, like... That's crazy to think about, like, the big boys, like, watching, like, who megalos, right? Like, watching nobodies. But he said he usually watches, like, 10, 20 viewer andies, like, play WoW, I assume. Or he said he likes watching people play games he likes. So I don't think he'd ever watch me, because I play fucking Nintendo. But, um... He was saying he likes the vibe of small streams a lot, because, like, he likes attention. I'm like, true, true. But then I basically said... I was like, you know, I I want to support and watch small streamers, but they don't stream often enough, and the community isn't engaging to a point where it's not as entertaining as watching, like, a bigger streaming. Meaning, I love chat. Like, I love when chat is zooming. It's really fun to read chat. That's why, like, I encourage you guys to spam as much as y'all want. And, like, he read it out, and he's like, so what you're saying is that a stream is entertaining because of the community, and I'm like, yep, yep. Because community in that sense means like people interacting with like your offline content, the actual chat room. 
Because to me, if somebody's not engaging with your stream, then they don't fucking like you. <laughs> Controversial but true. Like, I don't expect much chat engagement for this type of stream because I'm not talking all the time. So it's not like... It's meant to be super hype all the time. But for, like, the main channel, I try my best to keep people chatting. We Fit music? Yes, I can love We Fit. Oh, and Titans, are you gonna win this month's tournament? You think you have what it takes? Anyway, I was like, oh, wow, he read my chat. I was like, people, wow. Because, like, I don't type much usually, like, um, because I think chat room is meant to be people giving their opinions about things and then also reacting to what's happening on screen. Um, like, I very much am a reactor, meaning that's why, like, I talk, like, lol, kick W all the time in people's chats. Like, I don't necessarily type my opinions because I feel like, one, the streamer doesn't care or, like, the streamer can't give everybody equal attention when it comes to that type of chat message. So I just don't send it often. But I was still like, wow, he read it! <laughs> it also feels weird chatting and not being a sub, I'm gonna be honest. Cause like, I can't afford to subscribe to people as much anymore. I only have two active subs and then I have a turbo. Chatters, um, get a Twitch turbo, it's pretty epic. If you watch a lot of channels and you can't afford to subscribe to Rody, get a turbo subscription. But also, still give me your primes, okay? Yeah, I agree. It feels weird not having a badge. It makes you feel like you're not as important. Or like, you're not as cool as everybody else. And like, mods are obviously more likely to ban a non-sub than they are subs, so. <clears throat> okay. I think... Oh, wait, I just realized. If I want all the, like, the little crescent moons to be the same shape and width, I have to draw guidelines too, huh? Damn. Dang, it can't just willy-nilly the length of them, huh? That sucks. Damn, I thought I was done with guidelines. I need to figure out how, like, wide I want them to be. Let's see, the distance from the circle to the center point is a little less than three and a quarter. Okay. I'm just sketching out to see what the shape will look like. I 
I think I'll do this shape. So I have, or I'll mark half an inch lines, and then I'll have three little arches. But I'm also gonna have to draw a center line too. Damn, so much work. Golly. Yeah, like for this piece, I was gonna do the guidelines before stream, but I was like, nah, let's see how long it takes. I mean, I think this is the first piece we've done on stream that it does require this amount of like precision, you could say. Because the other ones were just like freehand shapes. This one actually has to be lined up correctly in order for it to look good. lines are off on this one then it's gonna ruin everything I love this song, but it goes on way too long. Isn't it like the main menu music? Whew. I don't mind it. Oh, the last song? Oh, okay. I don't remember what the last one was. <laughs> I'm kind of zoning out. Not in a bad way, like, I'm still focused, but... When I'm working on stuff like this, I don't pay attention to what I'm listening to. Like, I can listen to most anything and still... focus on what I'm trying to do. The only time that sound becomes bothersome is if I'm trying to like do homework or do reading. Like in order for me to like genuinely focus on something that's not art, I have to have no sound. You know, I just realized, maybe it would have been better 
if I just did the colors first and then I did all this line work when I actually had black down. I mean, but still, I need to map out where I want things to go. No regrets just yet. Now that I have those guidelines down, I can draw those shapes now. Holy, this one's taking all goddamn day. Okay. Oh, I just need to draw the middle line. been a long hour not really it doesn't feel like it's been an hour like genuinely Okay, Chatter, does anybody, like, sit down and watch a large stream, or do you just, like, listen to it? And, like, glance at your second monitor occasionally. Because I feel like... I wish I could enjoy people making art, but... It's hard for me to, because, like... I assume if you create yourself, you have, like, a basic understanding... Of how to do things. So, like, I only watch mediums that I don't know how to do. Like, um, like ceramics or sculpting. I like watching that type of media. But I don't like watching people draw as much. You're playing Xbox, hey, yo. Shit, it's fucking two o'clock? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I have to up a little TikTok. <laughs> Sorry, a, a TikTok comment made me laugh. That was good. <laughs> Some of y'all are funny. Talking about TikTok chatters, I just uploaded the best of October compilation on my main Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. So go like it, go leave a comment. That'd be great. Okay, now let's draw our shapes. Now the way I'm drawing these curvatures is I have the bottom and topmost arches lined up on the half and then I'm having the points fall back half an inch. That way it has like a little arrow shape almost. Thank you. 
That way we just get that little bit more bit of alignment. And if you look at the arch shapes as the cone shrinks, they get pointier and sharper. Oh, it looks fucking weird when it's got the lines down the center. Okay, I'll erase these lines so I can see it a bit better, the way you guys can kind of tell what the shape is supposed to be. Dude, my hand is dragging. <laughs> Shit, you can see all these smudges on here. Okay. You kind of see this one right here. So this part would be filled in right here. Right here. Okay, now I need to just not drag my hand. Oh, drawing this way is so much better. I don't have to twist my hand as much. Another reason why my lead is smudging so much is because I use 5B lead in my pencil. I don't use like 2B. Um, the higher the number, the more pigmented it is. Or like the harsher, the darker it'll be. It's because with the lower number B leads, it tends to leave scratches on your paper. And the higher numbered leads are softer. So they're a lot easier to erase, even though they do get, like, darker coverage. But it does lead to a lot of smudging, indirectly. So, the higher number LEDs are better if you want to do sketching. Okay, I think 
The last guy lane I need to draw is just the ones here. So let's see how much how much distance I want to put between this main circle and the little cone here. See, it's about two and a half. Maybe half an inch. No, half an inch is too small. Quarter inch. Now for this cone shape, unlike these arches where it's sharper and pointier, I want the, I guess, border to be the same size. So I'm not going to bring it to here. I'm going to have it end here. Oh, sorry, you can't really see. So I think having like a consistent width around the circle would look nice. I could taper it, but I think since all the other arches for the cones are tapered, I want to have this one look different. guidelines are done now I think finally dude I have all the lights on in my room and it's still not bright enough Let's update IG finally. Did somebody say guidelines? Yeah. I mean, all the guidelines are done. For the sketching, at least. Yeah, for the IG frogs. Dude, they're gonna be like, bruh, she's been live for two hours. Cause I, I like to post the progress pics on IG as we go. Let's go. I didn't even need to use my compass. Okay, should we start painting now? Okay. So the plan is simple. 
We're gonna do rainbow because gauge. So obviously, we're gonna need to mix colors or I can use pre-existing ones that I have. I think I wanna do brighter because since we're working on a black background, I want them to be slightly more um, saturated and um, cause shade is how much black and then tone is how much white a color has, I believe, or it's reversed. One of the two. <laughs> so I want colors that have a bit more white in them. So they're a bit brighter. Okay, let's see what I got. I really don't want to mix colors. So I want to see if I have good ones. I think those will work. I don't- I can mix to make them slightly more white, but I don't know if I really want to. Maybe I can make the purple more white? Nah, I think we good. I think we're good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and roll up my sleeves as much as I can. Oh, I thought it was Christmas music. I was like, what? Okay. Let's get started. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm gonna get a variety of size of brushes in. Yeah, go crazy. Oh. Yeah, I just realized my paper towels are across the room. Hold. Actually. Hold. <laughs> I don't want you guys to see my ass. I can't hold, hold what in? <laughs> okay, we good. Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. Hope we're doing well today, on. Okay, let's get started. I thought I heard something fall. Wasn't my Pikachu, was it? Surely. Oh, that cast a shadow. I don't like that. Oh, wow, good one, Mac. Good one. So, this is obviously going to take a few coats of each color. 
And I'm not too concerned about making my line art perfect. Because I will be able to go over everything with black at the end. You have a four day? Hey, yo. Oh yeah, because Crystal, I think you said before that you get more breaks throughout the year, but you don't get like long winter or, or like spring breaks, right? I'm now realizing the paint doesn't cover up the pencil very well. Shit. I'm just gonna have to put lots and lots of coats, I guess. Don't worry about the pencil. The paint will cover it, surely. <laughs> this is gonna take a lot of layers, yes it will. But you know what? It's okay. Cause when we broke we can't get nice paints. But you know, it does add more production time, so we get to charge the collectors more. Mm-hmm. I like the sound of that. Big Corpa likes that. the money all now I mean art is used for money laundering all the time though if we're gonna be honest that's why I'm gonna partake in it <laughs> I'm kidding I'm kidding of course twitch staff I'm trolling Also, I think I've decided for next month's best of compilation, I think I might put art channel clips into it. So chatters, if I say anything sus or funny during the art stream, clip it and it might get into the main channel best of comp. Because like, I don't think we'll ever get enough clips on this channel for a full like minute long clip anyway. But we can spice in some splice in some art clips into the main channel comp. We'll try it for this next month.
You can kind of see the chevron shape already, yeah? It's cool because it looks pointier than the original. It looks less rounded, but I kind of like the pointy look. It's probably going to take two or three layers in order to get a color fully opaque enough. So this is going to take a bit. But we got time. Now I'm going to try and get this pattern as as symmetrical as possible. But it's fine if it's not fully symmetrical. It's a-okay. I think that's kind of the appeal to traditional work. It's not going to be like super nice lines. Because like I could do this digitally. And like get some like hyper realistic shaders in. Make it look like actual feet spheres and stuff. That'd be too easy. And like when you mix digital art, it doesn't translate as well when you print it out. Like even when you get like prints made. Cause there's, if anybody makes art digitally, Different mediums use different color spaces. So if you're making something for print, you're not going to have a full color range as you would if you're painting digitally normally. That's why sometimes you'll see um, either stickers, keychains, or like journals that people make. They don't match the color you see on like a computer screen. Because your screens have millions and millions of colors they can use, but printers can only do so much. So you have to work in a color space that color toners can emulate. I think it's CMYK is the color code. Because anytime I have to make like a fake newsprint sped for school, I have to use CMYK. It's cyan, magenta, yellow. 
What, what's black? It's like... I was gonna say carrot, but that's not right. What is it? I know what it is. Lamau? No, I know what it is. I, <laughs> I'm in art school, guys. Y you know what? I think it'd be funny. You know those graphics account? Where it's like a really like hot girl, and then it's like... I'm a graphics designer, you should hire me for commission. I kind of want to make one of those accounts for funsies. Because, like, when I actually graduate, that's probably gonna, what I'm going to have to do. Like, make a portfolio account. And then I'll just follow a million Twitch streamers. And get clout that way. I think that's what I got to do. Do you guys think that's a good idea? Okay. So we have layer one done for red. Wow. Look at this one. Very nice, very nice. It'd be cool if I did like shading, but I think black colors is what I can handle for now. brush felt like it had glue on it so like the bristles even though I just opened this brush it feels like they're kind of hard or like stuck together that's why there's this weird texture in some of the strokes on that red oh there is glue what the fuck that's fine whatever yeah ew I'm getting scammed okay, let's do another coat of red My line work is pretty clean so far, though. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need three coats. That's fine. Once you put the varnish on top with the glitter on it, you won't see as much of these brush strokes textures, but we'll definitely need at least three coats. should have used like a lighter pencil lead maybe the 5b was a bit too dark i think what i'm gonna have to do before i start the next colors is erase any pencil lines that will be visible smaller brush now.
<laughs> I changed it to follower only, but instead of follow 10 minutes. Because I, I was thinking about... I was going to make that change at the start stream, but I forgot because I was so frazzled. But the reason why I think every channel should... No, something didn't happen. No. No. It, chatters, if anything does happen, we'd be in sub-only mode. And if for this channel, if it ever does get hate rated, it'd be in follower one day mode. Um. Anyway, I was thinking about it. And... If I want this channel to grow, because obviously if somebody follows and they see it's 10 minutes, it's obviously a deterrent. Um, thank you, Meg. It's okay. It's okay. Um, if anything were to happen, I have, I have a special command for if I ever get hate rated, so no need to worry. Anyway. I think if I want this channel to grow, I need to have follower instant mode. Meaning someone just has to click follow and then they can chat. Because since this... Because our streams are literally never pushed. The, I literally never see our streams ever unless it's in like the recommended carousel. Um, so I think we'll try follower... Just normal follower chat for this channel. I mean, we'll keep follower 10 minute on the other one because that one is more popular. And just women in gaming get more shit, so... We'll see how it goes. Because I thought about it, and I think a big reason why... Because during a few streams on the main channel last month, I would gain a follower during the stream, but then they unfollow. Basically, instantly. And I don't know why that happened, but the only way I can assume is that they, wouldn't, they weren't able to chat. And like, I don't mind if I lose followers on the main channel, because I feel like I have a core audience there. But I need to build this channel more. Yeah, but if any time I do get hate rated or follow botted, we would just be instantly in sub only mode for the rest of the stream. people not argue but kind of like defend not having follower only chat for a small streamer because some people are like well you know sometimes people want to like fill you out before they follow but it's like following is free for one and not all bot accounts can follow like some bot accounts are just made to type And as someone who checks off multiple boxes, like being a woman, a POC, being queer, I check off lots of boxes to be potentially not liked by certain groups of people. So I need to do everything in my power to make sure I'm safe, to make sure my people watching are safe. Because, like, I feel like a lot of people hyper-focus on, like, the streamer's experience when they're streaming. But streamers need to focus on, like, their viewer experience as well. That's why I got so fucking mad earlier that I couldn't get my chat overlay or alerts working today. Like, I was not gonna stream, but then I was like, you know, I can't go two weeks without doing art. Like, I don't want this channel to... Take an L. Okay, so this is two layers of red. You can still see some of the pencil and then some brush strokes, so it's probably gonna need three or four layers. Which is fine, we have ample time. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go here 
and erase any pencil lines that are visible that will be need to be that will be covered with paint. That way I have to do less work later. Time for dinner. Have fun. Oh shit, don't get the eraser shavings in the paint. Got it? good so far thank you we have all the guidelines done and when they are read down the camera's shaking in it it's because the focus is on auto mode so it kind of bugs out well welcome back pride I'm so glad we beat the boss in Cult of the Lamb last night, though. Granted, it's not the main boss, but still, better than nothing. There's been a few times where I've snapped my pencil erasing. Like, I can feel, because, like, the way I'm holding it, I'm kind of, like, pressing like this. So it's like, I could snap this if I really wanted to with my fingers. <laughs> I fell asleep this stream by accident. Am I that boring? Damn. I guess I need to get good. Yesterday? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Cult of the Lamb does go crazy. I mean, I don't feel as pressure to, I guess, be extra during subscriber-only streams, because I know that everybody watching is, like, there for me, not necessarily for the game. That's why I don't talk as much during Cult of the Lamb. And also, like, I generally need to focus when I do the fucking dungeons. Even though I fail all the time, I'm, like, genuinely tryharding. Like, I think the last time I lost on purpose was for a Mario Kart challenge run months ago. Ever since then, I will never lose on purpose. Because when you lose on purpose, you basically waste time. You basically waste time. And I think time is very important. I can't believe I died in game. Well, you got old, so you lived a very full, fulfilling life.
Okay. I have all lines that would be covered with the paint. Oh, shit. Look at all the lead on my hands. Ew! Okay, I think we're gonna work this way. So, we're gonna do white next. Get that filled in. Just like I did your mom. Hey, yo! Got him! Was it only 54? I mean, I guess you die quickly in game. Was that some nice ASMR? canvas is white we're gonna cover it with pure white that way we can cover any smudges or pencil lines because when you work with canvas all your material like sets inside the grooves that's how you can get like different textured looks based on what type of paint you use Like, I personally am so used to doing ink, so I'm used to just working on, like, flat paper. When I used watercolor paper for the first time, it was kind of weird to me. Because the paint kind of pools and sets inside little grooves on the paper. And to me, it kind of ruins it. But canvases need to be kind of textured, because if everything just sits flat on the surface like wood paper then the textures you can't get as well or they don't look as nice So some people may notice that I'm not getting my paint out of the palette. I usually just get it out of the cap. Because sometimes the palette is too hard to hold in my hand. It's too heavy. I know this is not necessarily the best thing to do. Because it can dry out your paint in the cap or the actual bottle. But these are cheap ass paints so I don't give a fuck. I mean I, I do care. I don't want them to completely die on me but... I'm working for comfort. And also, since a lot of these colors are pre-mixed, I don't need to necessarily mix them into a palette. I think once I get comfortable, or more comfortable, like, holding a brush and learning how to, like, here at certain strokes I will do pieces that have more color mixing, but for now we're just going to use the pre-made colors. Yeah, I think this white will only need 
two coats because it's really opaque. Okay, as that wash drying, we're gonna do one more coat on that red. That looks nice. I think this one's gonna look very cool. getting another medium brush because I don't want to stain this one so I'm going to use it for white. I'm going to need to grab more water shortly soon too. But I can wait. I'm satiated for now. You gotta get a move on. Can you make phone streamer for a second? I think I want to start painting offline as well so maybe I can do like a painting on stream every week and then I can try work on stuff offline
Because, like, I know working on stream slows me down. Because, I do, cause, like, there's been times, like, when I didn't paint last week, I was, like, itching to paint all week. Like, I really wanted to go live on Monday, but that was Halloween. And I was like, fuck. Because, like, no way I could get this done in three hours, right? Because I was going to do painting, like, right before Halloween. So I think I'll start doing that. Because, like, painting is really... Or just doing art in general is really soothing for me. But I'll still post, like, progress pics on IG if I ever paint offline on the art account. Because I think the first painting I did that I posted on that account, I did offline to, like, test out materials. So I think I'll do that as well. So I think if you want to see all the art content, you gotta follow the Instagram, exclamation Instagram or IG in chat. You also get to see high quality pictures of the final products. Because, like, I know my goal is to start selling in spring. And if I want that to happen, I have to have ample product available. And also, basically, the more content you make, the more people will hopefully find you over time. Maybe I can try... Nah, I was gonna say, maybe I could do, like, TikTok lives, but then that'd be on the Clips account, and that'd be cringe. I think it's kind of silly how TikTok Live makes you have a thousand followers in order to go live. I think that is such a big hindrance. I think if people who don't have that number of followers can go live, I think that'd bring... I think that'd keep people on the platform more. Like, I can understand, like, not offering monetization, but I think it'd be cool if if someone has, like, let's say a hundred. They can go live, but they just can't get live gifts, maybe. I wonder why they have that threshold. It's probably to avoid, like, people doing, like, bad things on streamer. Huh? Okay, this is gonna take four coats. It's gonna need four coats. God and me. It's fine, it's fine. Because this red isn't really opaque. It's kind of bad. Chatters, when I'm a millionaire, I'm going to get nice quality paints. That way, it'll take a lot less time, okay? Don't worry. <clears throat> okay. Oh, they're both good. We're only two hours in. It feels like it's been longer. But that's also because we haven't gotten very far. By we, I mean me. I need to pick up the pace, huh? Work faster, Megan. So I know the concept that we're doing for these first few paintings, for the first few months of this channel, is remaking sketch cards, but into fully fleshed works. But I want to dip into, like, not realism, but stylized realism. Like, I want to actually learn how to do shading and stuff, but I think I need to practice that offline. Because I think learning how to paint on stream would be bad. I think it'd be fun content, but I don't want to look bad, you know what I mean? So I don't want to market myself as a pro, but I still want to market myself brand image-wise as someone who, like, has a basic understanding of, like, the creative process and what comes with it.
Because I don't want to do anything that looks like shit. <laughs> like, if anybody follows my main Instagram account, ba I basically treated it like an art account. So, obviously, if you scroll down a bit, you will see, like, some of my old drawings from, like, years ago. High school, too. And some are so bad. But it's also kind of a reflection of what your skill level is at, at, at that past time, right? That's why, like, I haven't really deleted any of them. The only ones I've deleted is, like, any time I did art requests or, like, collabs. Or not collabs. That's not what I meant. But art requests, because I don't do art requests anymore. Because doing art for free is not good. Because I only did that so I could, like, get practice in. I can't wait till Twitch launches, like, the what you call it. Or not Twitch, I meant to say TikTok. Launches the, like, desktop version of the streaming software. That'd be great. Because if I could do the art streams on TikTok, but through desktop to where I can get the better quality cam, I think that'd go crazy. <laughs> secret. We don't have secret on this channel. <laughs> nice try, Mac. You thought you could fool me. Try again. Can't you get a stream key? Only certain users have access to a stream key. And then only certain users have access to the beta desktop application streaming service. So there was like a window where they opened it up for everybody. But you had to promise that you would go live for like three or four hours a day for four days that week. And I couldn't guarantee that. Because I don't know what my computer processing power would be to handle co-streaming. That's why I don't co-stream. And also co-streaming is not good for a chat engagement. Okay. I think it's gonna need one more coat of red. <laughs> DM. Dude, if the red is even opaque, what is the yellow gonna look like? Bro. Bro. What's my favorite pizza? Ooh. Controversial, but I like wine pizza a lot. But I like to get extra Canadian bacon and then extra regular bacon and extra pineapple. Basically everything. But then I like to get spinach on top. Whenever I get a mob pizza, I literally get a million toppings. I'm kind of crazy. Because when I eat pizza, I don't care about like how everything tastes together. I like tasting everything individually. What are you saying right now? Like I said, it's controversial, but you know, I like what I like. You shouldn't judge people for what they love or who they love, Mac. <laughs> Got him. You have bad candy and food takes? Well... I can agree with that, but, you know, we're never gonna go out to eat together, so does it really matter? No. Parasocial viewers in shambles right now. <laughs> I mean, I, if Megan ever becomes a big streamer, I'm inviting all my mods and VIPs to uh, Cheesecake Factory, obviously. I really want to try Cheesy Geek Factory so bad, but the closest one is so far away, it's like an hour away. Oh, 
Who canceled the re reservation? No. No. I mean, if you're buying, I'll go. Just kidding, of course. Mac, you live in New York. Nice try. I think meeting any Cheddar or Ira would be kind of scary. Because obviously, like, viewers have an impression of their streamer, and then streamers have an impression of their viewers. Not that I'm scared of chatters, but I'm scared of, like, any meeting anybody online. I don't think I've ever met an online friend IRL. Come to think of it, I don't have many IRL- or online friends. And IRL friends. Well, now. I'm sending a gift- I'm not sus. I beg to differ. I think every chat- every Twitch user is kind of weird. I mean, I myself am kind of weird. I've said it before, but I have stalker brain. I just don't act on it. That's why I'm careful as to what I share, what I say, because I know how bad people think. I just don't act on the said thoughts. Dude, my dad's chopping wood. I'm weird, but I'm not scary. Now you don't look scary, Mac. If I walk past you on the street, I'd be like, they don't look intimidating. <laughs> Got him. I'd be like, look at that scrub. In their corduroy coat. Not scared at all. Is it- okay, is it weird to say whenever I get pictures for the portrait sketch cards we do on the main channel, I kind of- that's kind of what I picture you guys looking like. Like, Mac, literally, you look basically what I envisioned you as. Also, Kobobo too, I figured it looked like that too. I think most of my main channel chatters are like NBs. I think most everybody's like queer and non binary. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna let this red dry and we'll do orange next. Oh, I thought I smudged. Coke says not what I look like. What I thought they looked like. I thought Coke was a white boy. <laughs> but nah, dude. Nah, dude. Favorite sauce for fries? Oh my god, it's Peace In's biggest fan! Can we get some Peace ITOs for first time chatter? Peace In biggest fan? Oh my god. Wowie, welcome in, we're painting. Oh, the first time I showed Peace In's biggest fan one of my paintings, it was in a call. And they were like, wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> and I was like, you thought I was shit? Oh, since you're just coming, we're making this painting, but rainbow, because gay. G gauge. Anyway, let's do orange now. Not to call you out, Peason's biggest fan, but I was I was offended. I was offended. <laughs> okay, let's do uh, this was the color. Uh, favorite sauce for fries? Hmm. I usually don't dip my sauce in fries. Or no, my fries in sauce. I usually... I mean, ketchup is pretty standard. Or like... Okay, the only time I'll dip sauce into... Fries into sauce... Is if it came with like... An entree. So if it came with like... If I got fish and chips... Or like... Chicken wings or something... Then I would just dip in whatever sauce came with the entree. Because I'm trying to just use dipping sauce less in general, because that's so many calories. I mean, I love sauce, but it's kind of not worth. Like ranch? Yeah, why not? I mean, a ketchup mayo is pretty solid.
Also, chatters, keep in mind the overlay is kind of janky today because OBS hates me. I promise you, chat looks prettier. So hopefully, I hope and I swear to God that OBS fixes itself by tomorrow. Because if, if I have to use this jank ass chat overlay for the main channel, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. Because I think the only browser sources that I do have are chat and then alerts. So, like, it's fine if I don't have those two, but... My chat overlay is really nice, and I like it a lot. If I can't see it, it makes me really mad. Oh, this orange looks super saturated on camera. I promise you it's a bit more dull. Ketchup only? And you call me uncultured, Mac. Says you. <laughs> Guys, this piece is gonna go crazy once we get the mic of varnish on. I promise you, it's gonna be crazy. So, Chatters, if you've been watching the art streams for a while, which has been your favorite painting? I personally really like the, the blue one that had the wavy lines in it. That one is really cool. I think the mica varnish came out really well on that piece. I think that was painting number three, if you look on IG. I think it's funny that you thought about what we look like. I mean, it's very easy to see your chatters as just a name, but I think it's kind of fun to imagine what you guys look like. It kind of humanizes you a little bit. That's why I, don't, I try not to be mean, because usually in smaller streamers chat, like, it's literally a person talking to you, you know? Oh. You know which one you like? Yeah, you like the first one a lot, huh? The first one came out really nice. I think I want to remake that one. And if multiple people like it, if like we have multiple people who want to buy it, I might make different versions. Like different colors and stuff. Because I think that one would look really pretty with blues or greens. Like kind of more natural colors. Yeah, so if anybody wants to see my full catalog of pieces I've done so far on stream, exclamation IG or Instagram and chat, you'll see nice high quality uploads of the final pieces. Also, I do have a video archive on YouTube. It's Peace and Art VODs if you want to see past streams. Because VODs on Twitch get deleted after two months on my channel because I have a Twitch Prime sub. So maybe for next week's stream. Oh wait, I have to actually think about that if I'll time next week. Because we can either do like monthly calligraphy for followers' names, or we can do it at the end of every stream. Because if we do it at the end of every stream, then we can entice people to follow, right? But if I do it for like a single one-off stream once a month, then I feel like... Because usually for the follower calligraphy stream I do on the main channel, I get a lot of unique viewers. So I'm like, hmm, which is better? I think once a month, I think that'd be manageable. Because if we're going to do like fancy, fancy calligraphy on this channel, then it's going to take like probably two or three minutes per name.
my shield. You can't afford the calligraphy name last time. I mean, that's that's. Hi, right, welcome in shield chatters. Can we, can we get some piece to use for first time chatters shield? Welcome in, hon. Um, I know for the main channel we do calligraphy for people who donate and then also channel point names. So if you are following, I think you are following main channel, right? Hi, lemon. Um, you can also use your channel points, but I think for this channel, we'll still do the follower calligraphy journal. I think we'll do it once a month. Because I think whipping out the calligraphy every day, and especially if I do it at the end of a stream, I'm going to be tired. So, I'll think about it some more. But I'll, I'll keep telling you guys about it. You've been lurking? Hey, yo, we like the lurkers. I think lurkers are the best viewers. I will die on that hill. Because, you know, lurkers, they're the divide. You know, you don't got to give them attention. They just are here to have fun. I mean, I think art streams are meant to be lurked in. Because I, I know there's been times where, like, I'll miss a message or I reply to it, like, two or three minutes after somebody chatted it. I, I need... If we do move, I will definitely figure out a better setup for me to, like, be able to, like, maybe glance up and look at chat. But you need space to have, like, that type of setup. Like, ample room space. This design is cool. Thank you, Cole Bobo. Welcome in, hun. <laughs> Lurkers go crazy. I agree. <laughs> you should get a monitor. Yeah, I should. Add that to my wish list, chatters. Wait, I just realized there might be discounts on tech for Black Friday, huh? Will I have money in time, though? Fuck. <laughs> Do you have an Amazon wish list? Uh, yes. The only reason why I have a wish list is because Mizkev did a, a Marble stream where if your Marble got won the race, then he would buy you five hundred dollars worth of things off your wish list so i quickly made like a wish list that had a nintendo switch oled and then like art supplies on it but then i didn't win so i deleted the wish list so to answer your question no i don't <laughs> um if people want to support the channel i'd rather take direct donations or subscribe or give subs to the main channel because like i know like Looking at somebody's wish list or like their own stream gift list is like easier to kind of like see what the streamer wants, but dude, I'd rather just take money. Well, Malva the Nations aren't working. I know. I know. I know they aren't working. I'm sad. I don't know why it's not working. But it's fine. Just next time, right? We'll do a rain check. <laughs> Oh, Kobobo, we haven't seen you in chat yesterday, but you made the best clips during the month of October, so you are VAP until December. Yay! Congrats, Kobobo. Oh, I thought I spilled orange there, but we're good. The link did something I don't know what to do. Um, X out of it, obviously. Obby. You're sad you missed Galaxy? That's okay. Um, I think we unlocked another Galaxy House thing, or whatever the fuck it's called. Bovad is up. I also defeated Bowser for the first time. After how many attempts? One, right? Only one. Nah, it was like three. It was three. No, maybe it was four. I think it was three or four. No, it was three. Because I jokingly said, see, it takes me three times. Megphone streamer for a second. If we got donations, what food would you get? Well... Wait one sec, it's my sister, I gotta talk to her. Oh.
All right, make phone stream, make phone stream, or spam, spam, spam. Oh, the donation link's working? Maybe try it on desktop. Burger King? No. No. Um. The, okay, another reason why the donation goal is $50 is, um, because I've been craving, like, craving diner food. But you know how diner food is so fucking overpriced? Because, like, I want to get, like, a big stack of hash browns over medium egg that's kind of runny bacon sausage and then some crepes but of course the place that's really good is expensive so just to get the food is like forty dollars i was gonna order it today but then it was forty dollars like nope i was like nah dude too much because i think that if you're gonna get food delivered i think the breast or <laughs> the ch the cheapest in my area is like Taco Bell. And even then, even if you get like maybe three or four items, it's still gonna be like $30. Getting food delivered is expensive. She said the word. Hey, yo! We got a donation. Thank you, Mac, for the five. <laughs> Thank you, Mac, for the 569. Hey, yo! <laughs> Thank you, Mac. Why is your phone on PayPal so blurry? I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Mac. Hey, yeah, we're five sixty nine plus five sixty nine. Hey, yeah. Okay, I gotta update the goal now. Now we gotta have sixty nine on screen. That's cringe. That's cringe. That's it. Oh, wait, I gotta change it. I gotta change it. Because, like, I don't have the overlay set up. Oopsie. Oh, now it's tiny. It's tiny. Oh, you got sick leave pay? Dude, that's great. That's actually really good. I'm glad you got it. I know some workplaces are like really shitty about giving out sick pay. I mean, I think there's like legislation in place to where if you do have the VAID, you're like protected. Like you can claim with LNI if they don't give you your paid leave. Because you know how like businesses were given like thousands of dollars in loans they don't have to pay back? They could use those loans towards, like, paying people for their sick time off. Oh, no, wait, no. Those loans were meant to, like, pay off their employees if they had to close for X amount of hours or use towards their business. Basically, any workplace is covered if you call it sick for COVID. Like, they should never deny you sick leave for calling out sick if you have COVID. Every other sickness is fair game, but for COVID, there's a lot of protections. You have to show your test results? Isn't that like a HEPA violation? Uh-oh. That actually might be. Because, like, I know... I don't know what you call it. I know that no employer could ask for proof of va vaccination, but I don't know if they require like a proof of you taking a test. Huh. I don't know. I have to look into that. Dude, this orange is really opaque. Look at that. It might just need three coats. Why painting white and white? Okay, lemon, lemon. Let's turn on your looking eyes. See how much brighter the paint is than the canvas? And also, since I'm running my hand across the canvas, there's lead everywhere. So even though the canvas is white, it's still like a muddy white. So 
sorry, that was pretentious. I'm sorry, Lemon. I don't know if you were trolling or not. I'm sorry. I've been told I'm snarky, so... Oopsie! <laughs> Poor Lemon. I mean, usually Lemon gives and gaps, so I never know. My eyes are open and I understand. Then why'd you ask? You silly Billy. Megaphone streamer? Bobo, were you gifted a sub in Emmy's chat or are you a subscriber? Because I never see you in her chat. Hmm. My eyes are open now. <laughs> they should be. Dude, imagine watching an art stream but not like watching it. I know I said earlier, I think art streams are meant to be lurk lurked in, but if you aren't watching at all, I think that's kind of weird. Gifted? Oh, okay, cool, cool. I was like, yeah, I never see you in her chat. Hmm. I mean, I granted, I don't stay in Emmy's chat for long, because she streams really late. Because I got a notification that she was live at, like, 9 p.m. last night, and I was like, no, nah, I'm going to bed, bitch. <laughs> no, that's, I didn't mean to go over that. I meant to say in general. Nobody tell her said that, okay? No, oh, no snitching, no snitching. Guys, guys, Emmy is good friend. You know, I have very few Twitch connections. I cannot fuck them up, okay? I should, like, reach out to people more, but I'm scared. Another reason why I don't like collab streams is that chat doesn't like it. Because, like, chatters and viewers are there to watch you, not your friend, you know? So I think collabs only really work if you average 20 viewers. And by work, I mean entertaining for the viewer. Is tournament tomorrow? No, it might. It's probably next weekend. When is that? It's probably next weekend. Unless it gets pushed back again, I'll never know. I mean, it's whatever. I really hope I win, though. I really need that 50 bucks. I mean, I don't know what the prize pool is. <laughs> Spill who's with? No. You'll never know. I can't tell who it's with because it's with a lot of people. So if I don't say a name, then they're gonna feel bad. I'm entering? No. <laughs> it's only for streamers, Mac, and you don't stream. Wait, Mac, didn't you say you literally have everything you need to stream? Do you have a capture card? I'll buy the capture card from you. <laughs> do, do I get a friend's discount? <laughs> Even though we're not friends? Of course. Because, like, the Elgato capture cards, they were, like, 150 but when I looked it up, when I looked up the prices now, they're, like, 200 It's bullshit. Inflation hasn't increased that much. I mean, Mac, if you streamed, what would you stream? You have lights and all? Bro. I 
I do need lights too. <laughs> you want to sell the lights? <laughs> I think the only people who stream that are active in my chat room is Titans and then Issa. But I think they're both on hiatuses right now. Sag. Yeah, I think in order to capture 3DS gameplay, you need to have different chords and shit. But dude, playing Nintendogs on the 3DS, I think that'd be a crazy stream. But do you have a streamer personality? I don't know. I've never heard Mac talk. The only thing I know about chatters is what they say in the chat room and then I know what some of them look like because they have done the sketch card things. Now I'm thinking about it. what do you guys sound like? That's gonna ponder. I'm gonna ponder about that now. Some of y'all were saying it's weird that I think about what you guys look like, but now I've got to think about what you guys sound like. Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. You're painfully shy and awkward? Me too, dude. Me too. But... You kind of get over that awkwardness. The more confident you are. And sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it. This design looks so cool. I like it a lot. You'll never know what you sound like. Oh, you'll never know what we sound like? I mean... Wouldn't it be cool if I was like a 50 viewer Andy and I could bring viewers into like a Discord call and that could be the content? I sound different than what you think? I picture Mac having like a really cool deeper voice, but is it higher pitched like mine? I don't like my voice. I don't like how it's higher pitched. I don't like it. Not a bit. Oh wait, another idea I had for writing followers' names is getting a big canvas and then writing people's names on a canvas. Or should we do that for gifters? Your voice is a decent middle from that? That's cool. <laughs> wait, I, I got confused because I'm like, do you mean like lower or higher pitched? Because I think deeper voices and then middle pitch is really cool. I don't like high pitched. I think a high pitched is annoying. So I indirectly think I sound annoying. Also, my sister told me I put on like a higher pitched voice during stream and she says it sounds fake as fuck. And I'm like, true, because I am fake. <laughs> Also, my sister is home and she can hear me talking, so I can't talk too much shit, guys. So don't ask for weird story times. And if I start telling weird story, tell me to stop.
Yeah, I think we'll do a canvas for gifters. One, because I have to go get find a canvas that big. You know, streamer TikTok is so fucking dumb. Like, some of the streamer to videos are so bad. I remember I saw one when they're like, Oh my god, to get more donations during the month. Cut out all these little hearts, or all these little pumpkins, because it was October. And then tape them to your wall. Whenever somebody donates, write their name of the pumpkin, and then more people will give you money. And it's like... Okay. That's cute, but it's like, okay. That does not work yet. I did that for my goddamn birthday stream. And, okay, I did get more donations than I thought, but... It's not like it'll encourage new viewers to do that. So... Did you do that with balloons? Yes, we did that for the sub- sub- uh, sub- them. I almost said anniversary and then sub, that's why I stuttered. Um, but yeah, we did do that for the sub -a I- okay, I'll be honest. I did get a lot less donations than I thought I would for the sub -a By less, I mean less- not the actual number amount, but I mean, like, less people. So. Because, like, I was talking to people. Because I was like, how many balloons should I draw? And they were like, oh, you should draw that many. And when I say only, I mean it in the context of it's less than I anticipated. I, I only got, like, six individual people. Chakra right after that, though? No, actually, August was my peak. August was my best month in terms of viewership and money because of the subathon. But you are kind of right because chat has become more consistently um, active since August. I think because once summer ended, megaphone streamer. Um, Uh, anyway, so since, like, summer's over, people are back in school. I think right now we have our, like, our core base. <sighs> well, Bobo came in right after. Yeah, they literally just missed the subathon. Wait, how long is Kobobo? In I can't see the chat logs on my main channel right now. But I think Kobobo's been following for a while, but they haven't been, like, chatting. Till, since, till recently, I mean. Okay, I don't think I'll need a second code for the spheres. But I'll definitely need more coats on these little arrow parts. <laughs> Sag. I mean, it's fine. I'm glad you are here now, though. It's kind of scary how fast this year went by, though. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna see the follow age for the main channel here, Lemon. I wonder who my first follower was on this channel. I can't remember. Because I think the first time I plugged this channel, I got like six followers in a day. Because I plugged it during the stream, right? Wait, we gotta update the IG frogs. I forgot, I forgot. After this layer, I have to. Guys, remind me. IG frogs in shambles. Almost a month. 
It better have been me. I think you were like first few. I have to actually look back and see. Wait, I can actually check right now. Hold. Hold, I'm here, I'm here, I'm checking, I'm checking. I'm checking, you guys can't see, you guys can't see. I can't leak. Let's see, who's the first follower? No way! No way! No way. Okay, okay. Okay. The first three followers were Kobobo, Hacker, Harley Bryant, or Harley, Radiant Smile, and Wolf. Those were the first five. Damn. I think it's because we got like five or ten in the first week. I was late. Yeah, because you didn't follow right away. Screw Mac, honestly. <laughs> Damn, Kobo, well, you literally were the first. Wow. Is it me? No, it was not you. Yeah, let's go, Colby. Let's go. That's surprising. Mac isn't a real fan. I mean, Mac did donate money today, so I think they're a better fan than most chatters. Not saying the Oilers are better, but they are a big help. The <laughs> government name? What? I said Mac. I said Mac. Mac is whack. Oh, cancel? No, you can't charge back, dumbass. Sorry. Sorry, that was mean. You can't charge back on PayPal. Because there's chargeback protection, bitch. Bitch. Okay, we're going to update IG. I'll call the bank for fraud. Actually, don't. Don't. Let's not joke about fraud. Even though a lot of PayPal scams do happen. Whoa, look at this on camera. Look. That looks so clean. Okay, we're updating IG. Okay, guys. I don't think we'll have time to start the second painting day. I don't think it's possible. This took a lot longer than anticipated, and I started later than I wanted to. So, I don't think we'll have time to start the rainbow one. I might do the rainbow one offline. What I'm talking about is um this card. Because I was going to do the base colors for these two cards, but I don't think we'll have time. But you know what? It's fine. Wait, hold! Lamau. 
<laughs> Hello, I'm Mina. We're gonna take a union break. I paused the timer. Anyway, I said my sister goes out to eat with a friend basically every week and she brought me home sushi. Shout outs to my sister. It got kind of squished, but that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> Wister. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for telling me I'm muted. I forgot. It's because she knocked on my door and walked in. So, I had to mute and shit. Kinda soggy, but it's still good. Holy. I dropped my phone. Damn. I hate when that happens. Last time I got mad at her because dude, I told you guys how um she ordered burgers for her and my mom and didn't give me anything. Didn't give me anything. So now I forgive her. All is forgiven. I'm no longer mad. What kind is it? Oh, I, I didn't say what it was. Sorry, I was made it. Um, it's a fried sushi roll. Yeah, let's put it up so you guys can see it. It has bacon, cream cheese, and imitation crab in it. And it's kind of spicy. Dude, it's so good. I think sushi is the one food I could eat so much of. Like, no joke. I can eat like three rolls if I really tried. Because whenever my sister and I get, like, sushi, we usually get four rolls, so we each get two. It's not filling. I know. I know. That's why you can eat so much. It's because it's just rice and fish and the whatever filling. I like it because it's easy to eat. Oh my god, that was so good. You never had sushi from a restaurant? Have you only had like gas station sushi? Huh? Okay. Since we're taking a union break, I have to get my water. So everybody, we're gonna go into emote only mode. So y'all spam as much as you want, okay? Also, remind me to unmute if I forget again, okay?
<clears throat> I have to like suck my tummy in in order to not knock over my tripod. Okay, back to work. Union break is now over. Why is the cup so skinny? It's so it's easier to hold, of course. Because I think the other cup I had was too heavy. It's also why I dropped it. Firmly grasp it. Okay, let's, let's go back to work. <clears throat> I did smudge a lot here. Let's erase. Dude, I was getting hungry too. She came at the perfect time. Huh? <laughs> Another reason why I don't get diner food, like for delivery often, is because my sister doesn't like eggs. What kind did she get? I don't know. I assume she went down to like sit down and eat. If you're using my teeth, don't do this. You fuck up your teeth. Don't look at me. But she doesn't like cucumber. Oh, this has a little tear part. Oopsie. She usually gets kind of has salmon in it. And she likes avocado now. She used to hate it, but now that she gets sushi more, she likes avocado. I like the ones that have like the teriyaki sauce or like oyster sauce drizzled on top. I like sauce. Get back to work. Oh, yellow is gonna take like four layers like the red. It's not opaque at all. I used to hate pineapple, but then I grew up. Does that mean you like it now? Or that you matured enough to respect people who like pineapple? I agree. Shim tempura is pretty solid in sushi. Usually when I'm looking at like a menu to see what, like what roll combos they have, I usually try and find one that has tempura fish and avocado that's like my top three or when it has like the little um what's it called <clears throat> what's the type of seafood where it's like the little balls scallops or when they have scallops on top choppers is really good but choppers is expensive because we get ours from like a local place or like, a, I guess you can call it like local because it's a non-chain. It's really good. They have a buffet special, but it's kind of a scam. Because whenever you get buffet, you can only eat like two rolls max. Otherwise, you're going to be fat. So, I think it's best just to buy single rolls. Buffets are actually a scam. Don't do it. Do sweet potato and spicy tuna? I don't mind sweet potato. Because I think at our place, the only rolls that has sweet potato in it is like the fried rolls. Which I do like the fried rolls, but I kind of like the cold ones more. I 
wonder what sushi would be like if it was like salmon with like caramelized sugar on it. Somebody make it. That sounds kind of good. I'm a big fan of savory and sweet. And caramelized sugar tastes really good. Because I tried baking salmon with like garlic and honey. Like a garlic honey glaze and it was ite. I feel like that'd be good on top of sushi. Like a sweet sushi? I mean like a sweet savory combo. I think that'd be kind of interesting. I mean, it'd obviously be, like, unconventional. I don't think people would like it, but... I wanna try it. Dude, I feel so much better now after eating. into mobile sag imagine watching on mobile now you can't use the funny haha -ha emotes how many people watch on desktop because i was looking through my analytics and like 60 percent of my viewers watch on mobile i mean mobile twitch is fine but desktop is obviously superior and it works better, too. mobile twitch like crashes all the time the audio desyncs regularly it's because when you're working with like large or sorry live video and at such like a high magnitude as twitch has for in terms of like daily users there's obviously times where like the app will fail or glitch kind of like the other day there was like an hour window where i couldn't see any past vods highlights collections on any twitch channel i was freaking out because I legitimately thought I got banned. I was like, what the fuck did I do? I was like, my Halloween costume wasn't that crazy. Um, but basically, it was just like a site-wide glitch for certain users. So, like, I couldn't download um, VODs or anything. It was bad. Because usually after I end stream, I download the VOD. And, like, make highlights of it. So, like, if I do, like, a You Laugh, You Lose. Or, like, a singing clip, then I'll highlight it. That way... Uh, people can watch just that part of stream if they want to. <clears throat> but honestly, I don't think anybody watches collections. Not a lot of people watch VODs either. And that's just a general site-wide thing. Because why watch a stream if it's not live? I should probably watch more clips. I mean, watching clips is aight, but if you watch the stream, then you don't need to watch clips. What you should do more of is make clips, Lemon. Which I know you know how to do. I saw you made a clip before, and you trimmed it. So I know you know.
You know, this is pretty full, Mac. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I think we have a fire stick in our living room, but... What do you download on it? Like, just apps? Or can you, like, save movies on it? We're gonna do a second coat of yellow. This is looking very nice. Like the chevron effect. Full of apps. Oh. Damn. Sounds like a you problem. Delete some apps. Easy. I've eaten four kiwis. I have so much freaking nutrition. <laughs> that sounds like something like an anime protagonist would say, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I get what you're saying, Mac. Like, just wait till they get home, I guess. Like, does it not work if it's full? Wait, chatters, I have an idea. What if we did like a Miitopia stream and then I made Mii's of all my chatters? Like you guys send pictures and then I make Mii's of you? And then we do- we RP. I think that'd be fun. social but that'd be cool <laughs> yeah I think we could do that when we have more viewers I think that'd be fun because like I want to figure out ways to like integrate more viewer interaction but viewer interaction streams only work well if they have like a good handful of people watching because like it sucks if, like, somebody has, like, good content but nobody watches. Like, there's probably so many people who have zero viewers and are making good shit, you know? And I feel bad. But that's just how the platform is. That's my fear. I mean, I was streaming to zero viewers for six months. And usually the six-month mark is where a lot of people quit. But I kept pushing. I think, Mac, if you ever want to stream, learn how to edit first, and then you can make edits of your stream. I think that's the way to go. Or make offline content like YouTube or TikToks first. That way you get at least used to the creative process. Because I feel like there's a lot of people who want to be content creators but have no content. Like, they don't know what to do. And it just shows that they're not a creative person, and I don't think they should succeed. Controversial, but true. <laughs> I don't want my face on life, so just be a pile of lemons. I think that'd be good RP. Kind of like how you do art. I can't go back to it, but I'd have to. I guess, yeah. I think the path and the, the decisions I made with streaming aren't necessarily the smartest. 
but I think they're the best for long-term consistent growth. Because if I started off doing collabs all the time, then I would have peaked and then fell off real quick. Oh, you mixed up my messages? Oh, you can't go back to TikTok. Oh, Lamau. I mean, Mac, I've, I told you before, it's annoying when people split up their chat messages. I hate that. I'd rather people send a long message than send, like, broken up messages. Because, like, obviously, if somebody sends a paragraph, I'm gonna read it. Because I don't know if it's copy pasta or if it's, like, a manifesto, you know? <laughs> don't be sending your manifestos in the Twitch chat room. Do not do it. You will get banned. And reported to the FBI. Ah! Sorry, I must messed up. I think piles of lemons, it would just be a thump. And then screams of agony when somebody trips on it and then they fall on the lemons and then the juice squirts everywhere. And then it gets in their eyes, in their butthole, in their mouth, and then they scream. That's another sound. Wait, Mac does music? What? What? The what hole? I said asshole. You know, you trip, your pants fall down. Ain't that normal? <gasps> Mac plays an instrument? What? How have I not known this? You literally have never shared this, Mac. What? Do you compose your own stuff or do you just play? Dude, actually clueless. I had no idea. Oh, oh yeah, you said you said you played sax. <laughs> okay, well you didn't mention guitar. I forgot, okay? When people say, oh, I did band in school, I, I picture them not being a creative. I don't think many band kids are creatives. Or like a lot of kids do band. Not because they want to, but because they kind of have to. Because their parents are like, I want you to play an instrument. And it's going to be a saxophone. And you're going to like it, son. But then the son is like, everybody's going to make fun of me because I play the saxophone. And then the father's like, I don't care. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> Make fun, streamer. Welcome in. Hope we're doing well today, hon. We're working on this card, but we're doing rainbow because gauge. <laughs> I, you thought the sax players were the cool ones? My friend played bass and he was cool. I didn't know you played guitar. Okay, you know the cliche of like people who play guitar and get women? Not gonna say it'd work on me, but that's pretty cool. Like the kids who would play their ukuleles in the hallway. Oh my god, they were so cool and sick. I, I didn't want to be them, I wanted to be with them, you know? <laughs> And I would like to clarify, I'm not hitting on Mac. I'm just saying people who play guitars or instruments as an adult are pretty cool and sick. Twitch stuff, I'm not hitting on a viewer. That's weird. 
That's what Discord servers are for, not tw not Twitch chats. <laughs> Adam. Happy ukulele and vouch those kids are annoying. Were you the annoying? Okay, I, I don't think they were annoying. I thought they were cool. Because, like, I was the kid, I would sing to myself in the hallway. Because I was just stimming like crazy. Like, okay, I didn't bolt. I would just sing softly to myself. Because that was kind of, like, a way to calm myself down. During passing period. Because, like, uh, my high school, it was 10th, 11th, and 12th. And even then, it was still, like, overcrowded. Because, like, the popu population density in my town is really high. So, like, all the schools in our district are, like, overcrowded as fuck. So, passing period was, like, actual hell. Like, sometimes you'd have to, like, crawl over people to get to your class. This was looking really nice, huh? Phone streamer for a second. I think yellow's gonna need one more coat. Dude, I wanna fill in the black today, but I wanna do the varnish. also look nice if I did black and whites and instead of doing rainbow for the circles I did grays I think that would also look really nice okay sorry there's eraser shavings in here like having like a white fade to like super dark gray I think would look really cool goes it it's going good we're about halfway through welcome back titans i feel like i've gotten the flow now
You know what I don't like about college? I hate how assignments are weighted. Like, you know how I said I got like 100% of my assignments for like week one? An assignment I turned in for, I guess this past week, I got an 85. So now my best possible grade can be a 95. And I'm like, fuck, dude. Cause, it, Cause I think that one assignment was weighted for like 15% of my grade. So since I got an 85, now the best possible grade I can get instead of like 100 is now a 95. And that's only if I get 100% on every assignment from the rest for the rest of the month. It, it's so fucking stupid. Like, I wish it was kind of like back in the how in high school, where like homework is worth like 60% and test servers 40. Like, I hate how assignments are graded. I mean, it's up to full discrepancy of each professor, but it's still- it sucks when you like bomb an assignment, you know? I, I didn't bomb it, I still got an 85, but still, it- it lowered my grade fucking 5%. It's like, bruh. And for most professors in my school, if you get less than like, a 60, you can resubmit for most any assignment. But, uh, it just sucks. Cause like my GPA is low so I kind of want to bump it up so my goal for the rest of the year is to get like either B pluses or A minuses the lowest for every class I also think it's kind of bullshit how like a 93 is considered an A minus I think it should still be a full A But you know, it's fine. I should be glad that I'm even in college. I have the luxury of getting thousands in student loan debt. And getting a degree I might not even need, but you know. It's a privilege. That's the American dream. Rating systems are super overlooked. What do you mean? Like, corruption and fraud? Oh, I have done a second coat there. Oh, people don't care about the issues with it. Oh, okay. As with anything, right? <laughs> Nobody cares about anything. I mean, I think people care about things as long as it directly affects them. But then obviously when you get out of a situation, like whether you be, be out of high school, out of college, out of a workplace, it doesn't affect you anymore, so obviously people aren't going to be as adamant. That's why, like, you see a lot of people who experience trauma become advocates after experiencing said trauma because they don't want other people to experience. Prime example of people who are victims of mass shootings. Megphone streamer. like a whole clump of eraser shavings here there we go saved this green is really pretty though It's really opaque too. It might just need two coats.
good one, man. Good one. <laughs> good thing it wasn't something bad you copied and pasted. <laughs> Ooh, saved. Holy. There's been so many times where I'm scared, like, I am watching a stream, like, on mobile and I'm texting somebody. And I've gotten close where, like, I've almost typed in, like, okay, I don't say slurs, but, like, bad words. I mean, like, actual bad words. Into, like, a Twitch chat, because I almost texted it to somebody. <laughs> Good one, Mac. Dude, that sushi was so good. That made my day. That literally made my day. I was having a really shitty day. But that made my day. I'm in a really good mood. It made me want sushi. I mean... Sushi is pretty solid. It's me, Mario! <gasps> Mario! You already had dinner, though? What time is it for you? Damn, you eat dinner early, huh? Oh, the shape came out like literally perfect. Dude, my ladder is getting so much better. What time is it? Um, Mac is East Coast. I'm PST. I think you're Central, right, Lemon? It's like mountain time, you're like an hour and a half ahead or some shit. Some whack ass shit. <laughs> no, I live in the mountain. <laughs> Yeah, I, what is one hour ahead? It's not central, because central is like two hours. It's gotta be like mountain time. <laughs> mountain time is like the beard states? I agree. Very weird. Type one if you're weird. <laughs> Mac types two according to Mac one. Nah, I'm weird too.
We discussed this earlier. Anybody who watches Twitch is by default weird. Y'all can't deny that. Head cannons and animated gifs. That was me. No shame. I would say the streamers are more weird than the chat. I mean, chatters will stay in stream for hours on end, chatting, expecting a response from their favorite streamer, even if they're like a 50k Andy. I think that's kind of weird. But I'm not a 50 candy, so you, you chatters aren't as weird as the other people. Just saying, just saying. weird to think how there's so many small streamers like there's so many people that I don't know but then like all those streamers like know all their viewers that's so weird to me there's some big streamers I don't even know I know right bad that I didn't know who, like, Lyric was for the longest time. Like, one of, like, the OG streamers. I had no clue who they were until, like, a year ago. And that was only because other streamers talked about him. I, I had no idea who they were. It's because I don't watch gameplay streamers, probably. And a lot of, like, the OG streamers are gameplay-based. There's probably more like 6 million people you don't know. <laughs> more like 6 billion. Dude, this piece is gonna look so nice once the black is in. So I'm just checking something. No, I wasn't on my phone. Nuh-uh. I wasn't. Could it be me? I never use my phone when I'm on stream. No way. Magpo streamer is such a good emote, though. 
It's really subtle, but it's it's funny how I like look up. Okay, after we're done with the green, we have to update IG. So remind me, chatters, if I forget. Don't let me start blue before I update IG. Mac, what if you became an SM64 speedrunner? I think that'd go crazy. And then if you don't PB, you have to break your guitar live on stream. <laughs> I think that would be great content. See, that'd be a banger for a stream. You'd probably get a lot of people click on it because the title's crazy. And then they stick around. Easy. If anybody's going to stream, make sure your first stream is a banger. Has to be good content. And the title has to go crazy. I think this is my favorite song in SM64. The little do, do, do. little like pitter patter sound in the background is nice. And I'm hearing it in my right ear and that's so nice. Very good ASMR. Was your first stream good though? No, my first stream was ass. It's because I didn't have a video game capture card. No, I did, but my laptop couldn't handle gameplay, so I had to do an art stream. And I had 30 unique viewers because my title was my first ever stream, Wowie Wowza or some shit like that. So I had 30 unique viewers, which is really good for a first ever stream. And I was in the art category. Looking back, I should have been in just chatting. I was literally dumb for not being in just chatting. Um, but my audio wasn't working, my frames kept on dropping, because I was streaming in, um, 1080p when my, the most my laptop could handle was 480p streams. So that's why it wasn't performing well. So looking back, chatters, if you're gonna stream, do a goddamn test stream, that way you can make sure your tech is working properly. Before you go live on your main account. Um, looking back, if... I could have like restarted my streaming career I would have waited until I had a better laptop that way I could stream gameplay because the idea I had for my first Mario Kart streams were I don't think anybody here watched those streams because I was back in like October November last year because it took me like two months to save up for that laptop um, the concept was, every time I got a 3 star gold trophy, I would add a, a pin I made to like the Mario Kart cap I made. And it was a good concept. But when you have zero viewers and nobody watching, it makes everything so much less worthwhile. And then I did the Super Mario Galaxy jar with the stars. That was a good concept too, but... Same thing, when you only have one person or zero viewers watching regularly, it's hard. That sounds so embarrassing. Yes, I was so embarrassed. Do you still have the cap? Yeah, I do. It's in my closet somewhere. Um, you've done several test streams? That's good. Good job, Mac. Um, I was gonna say one more thing. But I, another thing I want to make clear is don't let it be discouraging if you stream to nobody for a while. I know it's the cliche thing to do, to have your like friends have a tab open, but honestly, it doesn't help unless they're chatting. If your people are watching our chatting, dead stream, dead stream. Controversial, but true. So if you're grinding for affiliate, don't tell people to have a tab open. Like you wanna have people who are actively engaged. That's why, like, I would love if this channel is eligible for affiliate in two months. That was my goal. 
Our target was one month. No, wait, fuck. Goal was one month, target is two. Meaning, if I got it in a month, that'd be amazing. But if I get it in two, that's what I need to happen. Or I'll be very upset. <laughs> so, I think the best thing I can do for this channel is just keep encouraging people from the main channel to come over here. Which, literally, all of my viewers and chatters, I think, have been from the main channel, which is great. That means that's working. And I think I need to, like, just make stuff offline. Like, I probably need to, like, actually make TikToks for this channel. Yeah, everyone be active. Spam like crazy. Uh, another thing I want to make clear is there's, like, being active and then being genuinely engaged. Like, there's so many streams um, where the chat room, it doesn't seem like they actually care about what they're watching. Like, the people who come in and just say, oh, how are you? That's good. I'm good. And then that's all they say. It, to me, it just shows that they don't genuinely want to, like, add to the stream content, you know? Because, like, chat is additive, meaning when people type emotes or when they... In or when they say their opinions, they're adding to what the stream is. <laughs> okay, I'm tired. Okay, cool. You, you also, I also noticed this with um, a lot of people who do collabs all the time. They'll have, um, or I'll see them stream, and then the people who come in the chat who are also streamers themselves, they'll be like, oh, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? And then they don't chat after that. Um, they may be lurking or whatever, but it just shows that... I, okay, I think in order to be a good streamer, you have to be a good chatter. Because if you're a good chatter, then you understand the dynamic that stream is supposed to have between their viewers. Because if you chat yourself, then you kind of understand what will make chat, or make your own viewers chat more, you know? I can guarantee you there's a lot of small streamers who don't watch streams. They just stream. So they don't necessarily get it. I, I feel like I, I understand most everything concerning stream dynamics. It's just I don't have the platform. Because if you guys think about it, if I was blessed with 100 viewers, 1k viewers, do you guys think I could handle it? Do you guys think I could still like engage with the chat room in a way that is still like entertaining and engaging I think I could not to be ego but uh, people who are small they fully rely on their chat room for their commentary meaning they don't talk unless their chat talks but if someone is able to keep talking even if they have no chat or nobody watching then I think that proves that they can stand on their own. It would be wild. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Imagine I had 100 people and literally everybody's just spamming. That'd be, that'd be such a fun chat. I would love that chat. Like, okay, Tecton was talking about it today in his stream. But he was saying, he's like... <sighs> I was gonna do his voice, but I don't want to. <laughs> but he was saying how his dream chat room is people who just emote farm all day and just like type reactions via emotes to whatever's on screen because he was saying um he was watching a video of this guy who was like dry aging steak and he's like you know i want you guys when the guy said seer you know like seer the streamer he's like i i expected some people to like type easy in the chat room but nobody did so he went back in the video and he played the part again he's like everybody spam easy right now <laughs> and it was good it was good but I understand that people want different dynamics in their chat room. But you have to make sure it's entertaining for most everybody watching. Like the chat rooms where they're just copy pastas and emote spam, those are fun to watch because the chat room is always moving. You always subconsciously want to keep your eyes on it. And if you're watching chat more, you're probably more likely to actually chat yourself. Right, right. Megan's always right. Mm 
But it also, it takes a while to like change how your chat room acts because everybody acts as a hive mind. So if everybody emote spams, every or if multiple people emote spam, then everybody will. If everybody interjects their opinions, then everybody will. If some people are toxic, then everybody will be toxic. That's why when people are small or just starting out, you have to make sure you establish pop proper boundaries and be firm with your rules. I'm just really glad I haven't faced any, like, outward harassment yet. That's pretty poggy. Because there's a lot of people who just go into, like, random women's streams and, like, say weird shit and harass them. And it's just like, why? Like, sometimes I'll watch Amaranth. Dude. Uh, I didn't talk about the situation. But when the news came out that she was an abuse victim, I knew that was the case. Because, like, I know people were congratulating her. Be like, oh, you know, she hustles, she streams all day and all night, she's getting that bag. But I always had an underlying feeling that something was wrong. So when it, when she had that stream and I was watching clips of it, I was like, damn. I was like, I knew something wasn't right. Uh, anyway. So she's streaming again. I was watching her play Just Dance the other night. Because, like, dude, she's fucking great at dancing. Nobody can deny that. She's fucking great at dancing. Yeah, like, some people just make alt accounts and just shit on her in chat and it's fucking wild. Like, I can't imagine getting that much scrutiny and negativity all day long. Like, even if there's, like, one slightly negative Twitch message I get, it kind of sticks with me. Like, even if it's not directed towards me, or, like, if something, like, kind of, like, negative happens, or if I, like, misinterpret something, or I feel like I could have, like... Oh, prime example. Um, yesterday, <laughs> when Mac gifted a sub when I had my, like, ending screen on, and I flicked back to, like, full cam to, like, kind of troll, and, like, when you were, like, man, I got scared... You were actually mad. I was like, no, I'm trolling. But then, like, after I ended, I was- I felt bad. I was like, damn, I, I could've, like, been more jokey about it. Like, even, like, little shit like that kind of sticks with me. Because I don't want to, like, make people feel bad or leave any form of, like, negative impression. Because no matter if you do a million and one nice things for somebody, they're always gonna remember the one negative thing you did. So that, that kind of stuff sticks with me a lot. Thankfully, that doesn't happen often because I feel like most of my chatters are good or everybody, like, understands that I'm trolling or goofing most of the time. But I'm st that's still, like, a concern I always have. Because I feel like my type of, like, interaction, like, I do, like, goof and gaff a lot. I, I call you guys stupid all the time or dumb, I guess. But you, you guys know I'm trolling. Yeah, I, I totally get that too, Mac. I get it. I'm just like that. I mean, like, I'll never say no to a gifted sub, of course. But I, I feel bad because, like, my channel isn't big enough to where we get, like, daily donations. And that's totally fine. I don't care. That's not my priority for me right now. My priority right now is just getting new viewers and also getting regular chatters. New regular chatters, sorry. Um, so, like, donations or income isn't necessarily a big priority right now. I think I'll only prioritize donations if I'm able to make, like, 500 a month from Twitch. That's the only time when it would be, like, kind of imperative. Because if I do get approved... Wait, fuck, today's Friday! I was supposed to call DSHS today. <laughs> I mean, I called yesterday and they said my paperwork still has been reviewed. God damn it. So, probably not. I'm probably going to say the same shit today. Uh, anyway... Um, because for, to get government benefits for the one that I'm applying for, you have to make no less than $400 a month. Meaning if I make $450, I would not be eligible for benefits anymore. If I were to be approved. So, if I'm ever, ever at a point where I make 500 on Twitch consistently, um, then I would not be able to get disability. 
<laughs> Call live on Twitch? Did imagine. I mean, wait, let me think about it. Yeah, I wouldn't leak anything. We gotta donate less than. No, but not not a lot less, okay? Not a lot less. Okay, I gotta update RG. Okay. Dude, this piece is gonna go crazy once it's done. The chrome effect is gonna look so cool. I mean, it's either, like, nobody donates or I get, like, a lot of donations every month. That Those are the two walk-ins I want, okay? Nothing in between. Because ultimately, if we have more regular viewers, more regular chatters, then we're probably gonna get more subs overall. That's why, like, revenue is great, but I just need to focus on bringing people in. Is it time to run ads? Um, non-affiliate channels don't get ads. So, Sag. Dude, this looks so sick on camera. Y'all don't even know. So the best way to help a small streamer grow is to engage with their offline content, like their TikToks, leave a comment, reply to tweets, retweet occasionally if you feel up to it, and just type in the chat. I realized this yellow didn't go as far back as I needed it to. Can we get art secrets? Oh, maybe we can do tip. Like an art tip or something. Haha, <laughs> tip. My retweets are in an exclusive club. I've seen some of your retweets, Mac, and some of them are wild. Some are wild, dude. Some are wild. Mac is actually a degen. Can confirm. Okay, I'm gonna self report, but I do look at people's profiles when they follow me. And then anytime I get a DM, I look at their profile. So, like, anytime Max sends me a picture for their sketch card, I, I look at like the first few tweets and I'm like, whoa, dude, whoa, calm down. Your retweets are very good, says you. I can never retweet this shit. You're tweeting, dude. Holy. I'm gonna look. Oh, no, Lemon. You're too innocent. Don't. Mackie ruined Lemon. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're gonna ruin them. kind of want to play cool with the lamb after this what do you guys think should we go live on the main channel at like 10 p.m my time <laughs> dude that'd go crazy i'd be like falling asleep Yeah, you should be sleeping, Mac, because 10 my time would be, like, 1 your time.
You couldn't find Max account? Phew, saved. Saved. Oh, I think it's because Max username is not their Twitch username. It could be anything. Actually saved. Oh, the lights just flickered. Chatter, so the power might actually go out. We've been having crazy rain and windstorms recently. Mac, I think the only solution is for you to just, like, delete everything on your profile, right? That's the only thing you can do to protect the children! Okay, you know how people are saying, like, oh, Twitter's gonna die in a few months because, you know, Elon Musk, Pepe spit, right? People are still gonna use the platform. If you have an established audience, you're obviously still gonna use it. What other platform is like Twitter? Like, I don't think investors are gonna pull out just because Elon has ownership. That's kind of dumb. Like, there's obviously going to be still some advertisers who want that exposure. I've seen so many whack up things on TikTok. Oh, whacked up things. Okay. I was like, whack up things? Huh? I mean, I feel like Twitter is fine. There's just like a lot of explicit content, which you can easily filter out in your settings. Like sometimes I'll be like browsing a, a popular tag and there's just like straight up P-O-R-N, you know? I'm just like, whoa, I don't want to see this right now. You know, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Oh, and it'll be like in the Minecraft tag or some shit. I'm like, whoa, I don't think the little 10 year olds can handle this. Or they shouldn't be seeing this. Can't you mark accounts as mature on Twitter? I feel like you should be able to.
Why did the welcome to my chat room message appear? Sometimes when you refresh your cookies, sometimes you have to re-agree to the chat message or the chat room rules. It happens sometimes. Okay. What time is it? 4.54. I didn't do any though. I mean, it just happens sometimes. It's no biggie, you're not in trouble. Hey, Lemon's in the chatter. Peace out to yo. <laughs> Welcome in, Lemon. So what are you working on? Um, I'm working on this painting. We're gonna make it into rainbow colors, cause Gage. That looks nice, thank you. some lemon and they're going to become so mean after a month. I promise you. Give them a month. Give them a month. Your taste in music is so slow. Thank you. We hacking love gay music. Well, look at this on the table. That looks so nice actually. this without the purple on it. CBH. Let's see what it looks like in the distance. Wow. Looks pretty good. The wholesomeness and sooner than you think. So you mean, right now? Of course it looks good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you have faith in my skills. Talking about skill, I think it's weird when people say, oh, you're so talented. Like, it, to me, it minimizes all the hard work that you put into whatever you do, like your craft, if you do music, art, or whatever. Because to me, talent means inherent ability. I understand that there's some aspect of, like, your own merit. Like, nobody is born a fantastic musician or artist. It takes years to learn how to properly execute music or art. I don't know. I just care a lot about, like, word connotation. I feel like saying someone is talented very much, like, undermines what they actually are able to do. But then it's also, like, it's kind of weird to say, oh, you're so skilled. That sounds weird.
I can't do the regular smile, but I have no evil intentions. Says the guy who spammed peace to evil smile. I think that's kind of sus. What is this about? I don't know. How'd you get that? From where? The Peace in underscore 17 channel? Man, that emote is so cool. <laughs> the memories are coming back. <laughs> yeah. I was watching a stream, or I was editing a VOD from like, July, and Mac and Lemon were RPing the whole time in chat, and it was the funniest shit rereading. Because I think I was talking about, like, self-checkout, and you guys were, like, RPing as, like, the items in the bag or something. It was so stupid, but it was so funny. Oh, my God. Good shit. Bring back the RP. I remember that, yeah. That was, that was some good bits you guys did. Bring it back. Yeah, I think that was it. Because that was when the Peace I Too Smile meta was popping off too. Because you were like, oh. I forgot my car. Or you left your car to the machine. Smile. Or something like that. that dude is so good. don't RP often, but when we do, it's good. I agree. I like the RP chat meta that you guys were doing for like a month because I don't necessarily need to respond to you guys, but you guys were just like keeping yourselves entertained. And I know sometimes like other chatters would sometimes like pop it into the RP too. And it's funny. Oh, this looks so nice. I'm admiring it. Just admiring.
You have to improv for your acting class? Now just pretend you're RP. Easy. I got blue right here on the white. Shit. Okay, I gotta touch that up later. I thought you meant it was like right now. Okay, never mind. Too late. Don't take my advice. <laughs> Guys, should I try acting? And then I can become like an RP streamer in like GTA or something. That'd be a crazy arc for me to take. Ditch art and just become a GTA RP streamer. I don't even like GTA. That's the funny thing. Because I think I started watching Twitch when, like, the GTA RP meta was, like, at its peak. So, like, late 2020.
Ooh, eastward! Yay! My favorite. I mean, that's kind of cute how you guys are watching the game together. That's really cute. I wish I had that camaraderie. That's the one thing I think is actually kind of bad about streaming. Like streaming movies and TV. Is that everybody can choose what they want to watch individually. Like, no, I don't think many people watch, like sit down and watch TV shows together anymore. Like everybody's like on their own device or in their own room. Watching what they want to watch. My mom was saying how, like, back when you only had X amount of channels and one TV in the whole house. You know, if your big brother wants to watch this show, you gotta watch that show. Dude, the OP goes crazy. What specifically isn't working? Um, browser sources. So you know how there's like, uh, capture card source, image source, text source? There's no option for me to add a browser source. And any browser source I had added, Instead of having the little globe icon, it has like a the little rectangle icon, and when I click on it, I can't view the properties. So it's probably just a glitch, but... You still have your browser search? Fuck! <sighs> I-I hate my life. It's the fourth from the top. Dude, I know, it's just gone! It's just gone! It's gone. It gosh darn disappeared on me. Have you tried running OBS as an admin? How do I do that? Is there like a tutorial link you can send me on Twitter, Mac? Like a help article or something? Hey chatters, we're getting to the final section. Purple. Kukura. But this way the VOD watchers can see the shiny badges. My chat room had badges on it. Scooter's chat does not show badges. Because he doesn't have the J chat overlay like I do. On Windows, you can run applications as admin. Thank you, Mac. <laughs> I don't know how to do that shit. Thank you, Mac. Ooh, this purple is really dark, but it's not opaque at all. This one's probably going to take a few codes. It's got to take at least three. Because it's kind of like the red, barely opaque.
Is this the cooking music from Breath of the Wild? No, this is the whole Eastward OST. Sag Greenland music. Sag GS. G GF Uva. We didn't even get to bang. <laughs> Dude, this purple is so opaque, it's horrible. See, okay, I was gonna do that, Mac, but you know how when you cook on health and then go back to, like, the previous version? I don't have that option to anymore. Because, like, usually, it's, it's in the health tab, right? Next to tools. It said revert to previous version. It was in OBS, but I couldn't find it anywhere in the settings. OBS website doesn't have it either? I don't think so. Because the OBS, it's like... It's like, not fan-made, but it's like a small company. That's why, like, OBS is so jank all the time, because they don't have enough, like... You could say staffers to test everything all the time. Because it's independently run on donations. That's whack, yeah. Like, I think OBS is the best software. Like, the UI is pretty good, but it doesn't have the money behind it. So they can't do too much. Or not too much, they're limited what they can do. The forum is very good. Yes, I combed through the forum, and I couldn't find anything to help. And joining the Discord is scary. I, I probably will have to, though. And actually see if I can... Because they have people who, like, are developers that are in the server so they can help. <laughs> Whack in a good or bad way? Obviously bad way. Bad.
They spoke to me like I was a fool. Damn. Damn. See, like, I joined the OBS, like, Discord briefly, and then I left after, like, five minutes. Because, like, the people were just being annoying. They were, like... Because, like, essentially you have to wait until, like, a admin response to your message in the server. And folks were, like, replying to themselves when somebody didn't reply after, like, five minutes. It's just like, okay. Like, it's not like they have a 24-hour support like Big Corpa does, but... They're probably just dealing with shit all day. So I just don't want to add anything to it. <sighs> I hope it'll fix itself. Yeah, I know I, I try and come off as, like, standoffish and, like, confident, but I'm very, like, fragile. Like, even one slightly negative interaction can drastically throw off my mood. So I'm very self-conscious. Like, I don't, I don't, I can't handle rude people. I can't handle if someone is being dumb. And it's not that it'll cause me to, like, break down. It's just, like... I just don't want to deal with it. Mac is my favorite. I didn't donate. Why am I favorite? I mean, Mac did donate today. Mac gave me five sixty nine. I'm not Lemon's favorite. Not anymore. Maybe next time? Damn. Hey y'all, thank you for the follow by Simon. I appreciate you. Alerts are disabled because OBS sucks, but welcome in, Simon. Oh, wrong thing.
Yeah, I don't know how good this purple will show up next to the black. But we'll say. <laughs> the new follower person is my favorite. Yeah, we heckin' love the new followers. Okay, so, what looks so good? Your mom? Oh, it's pride. Sorry, the greens look too similar. Thank you, pride. We are almost done for today. We have to do one more coat of this purple, so I have to let it dry for a few minutes. And then we'll finish it next week, because I have to wait for the paint to dry for a few days so we can put varnish on top. But we'll come back to it next week. So I have to stall for like five minutes so I can wait for this layer to dry. Well, I guess we can post to IG while it's drying. Whew. Gotta update the IG frogs. Wait, I wanna see what this looks like. Yep. Wow. That looks nice. This one's gonna look so cool. Not just because it's rainbow, guys. Type one if you buy this painting. Type one. Type one. I better see some ones. Updating IG.
Okay, I have to take another picture because the text was too much. Oh, this looks- dude, this looks crazy on camera. Holy. Yeah, the boss music for Eastward goes crazy. It's definitely my favorite. Okay. IG frogs are updated. This is just about dry, so we can start putting another layer on. Oh. Chatters, get ready to spam. I was here. Even though the painting isn't done. Get ready. Sorry, just seeing the walls of Snicker is so funny. <laughs> you guys are so silly. I just imagine a wall of people laughing with the creepy music in the background. I guess that is kind of fitting. I think once all the black line art is done, this painting will probably be an eight hour painting, eight to nine hours. Surprisingly. 
I still can't believe it took nearly an hour and a half to get all like the line art, like the guidelines and stuff down. It's kind of crazy. I need to get good. Guys, I'm not gonna finish the painting today. I literally told you guys at Sir Stream we're starting this one today. Oh no, what have you guys done? Oh no. Okay, get ready. A few more strokes left. Okay. Hands up. We're done. For now, to be continued. Can I pause the timer? Okay, wait, hold. I have to bookmark this. Oh shit! I X'd out the tab. Oopsie. Well, we lost the timer. <laughs> Okay, so chatters, this concludes today's stream. We got the majority of the work done on this painting. Let's get some close-ups. Uh, let's actually get the timer back up. Old, I have to get the tab back up. There we go, I got the timer back. Let's go. Okay. Well, the paper towel almost went in it. Okay, so we have the base colors down. So all we need to do next week is wait for this to dry, put the glitter varnish on top, and then fill the rest in with black. So let's get a wide angle. This looks so nice on this camera. The slightly blue hue is nice. You guys can't even see chat on screen. Haha. <laughs> well, how's that look? Very nice. I think definitely putting the white paint down looks so much better. As I talked about earlier, um, when I was moving my hand across, I was smudging the whole canvas. But this looks really nice. I feel like this piece would look cool on its own. If it was just like this, because they're kind of like off-white and then the super bright white looks really cool. But we're going to fill it in with black next week. So, um, we can go ahead and end stream here. So, I would like to thank everybody who chatted, who watched today. I appreciate you all. Thank you to the lurkers as well. We had, I'm Simon as a new follower. Thank you. I know you're from the main channel. Thank you. Thank you. And... Oh, once again, thank you, Mac, for donating $5.69 towards the Buy Me Lunch Fund. Thank you, Mac. We are 10% the way there to get McDonald's. <laughs> um, no raid today, no raid. Um, I don't think I should raid if I'm not an affiliate channel anyway. Because I, I feel like most channels block 
non-affiliate raids, I do, personally. Because that, that way we don't get, like, an alt account getting a hate raid or something. Um, so. Oh, the purple's drying. It's gonna need one more coat, but I'll do that offline. It's fine. I'll do it offline. Um, so. We are going to go ahead and call it a stream here. I would like to thank everybody who watched. Before I go, if you like art, you should go follow my offline socials. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok separate for art. So go follow all three. If you're a real fan, go follow. So we should be live again on this channel probably next Friday. Maybe sooner if I'm up to it. But keep in mind, I have to let the paint dry fully. So we have to wait a few days anyway. So the earliest I could probably put the varnish on would be Monday. Maybe we could do it on Monday. I'll think about it. We'll see. We'll see. But thank you, everybody. I will see you all on the main channel tomorrow for Animal Crossing. So go follow the main channel if you're already. Okay. I'll see you all later. Bye. Sag, I have to do one more layer of purple. I thought it was done, but I'm not done. What time tomorrow? Probably 11. Maybe 10 if I'm up early. But probably 11 as usual. It'll probably be like a four or five hour stream because we're gonna do Aurora hunting. You know how that how that's gonna go. Surely we'll find her. <laughs> Dude, I'm still thinking about that sushi. Shout out to my sister, my god, that made my day holy. Okay, I'll see you all later. Hope you guys have a good night. Bye, Mac. Bye everybody. I hope you have a good night. I'll see y'all later. People, bye.